discretion is advised. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to Geeking Out. Your truly the Dick Pots here for another Geeking Out stream. <laughs> how is everybody doing today? Dom Prime, how you been doing? Outstanding, outstanding. As you can see, I am joined by my custom 212th Airborne Trooper. So, <laughs> yep, knocked that one out of the park. Just uh, hedging my bets against Sideshow. I mean, not Sideshow, uh, Hot Toys. If they ever release this thing, it might be two, three years down the road. So, well, Just being generous. Least, at least you caught, at least uh, you're catching up uh, versus uh, Hot Toys taking their delays, you know, just taking their time with these things. But the hey, everybody. Of the grows. But hey, everybody, we got. Another guest, uh, uh, you know, uh, one of one of my favorite guests because I'm like, damn, Moz, oh, I miss you, man. Yeah. I miss you, man. You know, I, I always want to. There's always room for you if, whenever you're free to come in, man. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> so, how you been, Moz? Anything new? Well, of course, I got new stuff. Come on now, I got a toothbrush. I don't know why it's <laughs> on my hair. <laughs> why is it there? <laughs> I think I was using it to clean something. Uh, I got my trees, got my IG-11 in the mail, uh -huh. uh, got my baby Grogu, of course, that I'm blocking with the custom printed cup that I did, my Sideshow Jason, and my Scout on tro uh, scout Trooper on Speeder Bike. Those all came in recently. That's nice. All my new stuff. That's really cool, man. Oh, my God. So many new figures, so little time. And then we and got all these 40th Grogu delays. coming in the mail in the next week or so. Yeah, that sold out. That sold out recently at uh, yeah. SciShow. So it's now waitlisted. Yeah, now freaking waitlisted. Oh god, if you guys didn't pick up the original um, Mandalorian Boba Fett for Empire Strikes Back, uh, that's gonna be a tough figure to get because that figure, man, when it first sold out, the first deluxe edition, that ended up going for like four hundred bucks with Darth Vader, and then you know Hot Toys was like, mm -hmm. get let's do another batch, another one. With the deluxe exclusive 40th anniversary packaging, I'm yeah. like, that's the one thing about Hot Toys. They know about their damn uh, Vader's and Boba's. They will always sell. That's the one thing. <laughs> yeah, they're the Star Wars equivalent of Iron Man. Mm -hmm. I'm for a Return of the Jedi Vader, I think, before I buy a Vader, I want to be able to take that helmet off, do that quarter scale thing, but I don't want a quarter scale. So maybe I'll wait for that. Wow! Yeah, that's right. Like, uh, there is a yeah, the quarter scale Darth Vader. Like, uh, if once they do a, a one six scale version of that, that's gonna be freaking amazing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I'd say wait till the one six scale Return of the Jedi, because I spent like literally a two days, uh, three o three and maintain main, main, maintaining my Darth Vader. I got like four Darth Vaders, and that's including <laughs> the quarter scale. So I had to like. Filled my table with Darth Vader's just to get the freaking 303 on them for that pleather. You know, it was ridiculous. And then I had to add the acrylic finisher right yeah. here on the freaking boots. Oh my god, man. It it took forever. It was just four Darth Vader's. And then that finisher's, off, that finisher's awesome though. I, I love it. I mean it's it's made my life so I don't have to three oh three. I mean put the finisher on it, it's basically a coat of acrylic clear that doesn't change the look. Maybe it makes it a little bit shinier, just a little bit, but otherwise it doesn't do anything to it uh, aesthetically. So, and it keeps it sealed in. It keeps the uh, the pleather from flaking. So it's pretty nice. And I handle my figures quite often, taking pictures of them. So I should know. But uh, what's up, Will C? And Doc Smizzle. Yeah, Doc Smizzle. What's going on, uh, Bob folks? Dylan. Hey, everybody. Oh, here. Bob Dylan. He did a crazy thing, and he uh, pre-ordered that Queen Studios. Oh, you, my God, You know, the God, one with the great dude. assets? The assets, man. Did we have in one stream where we had a whole – we had the, the freaking, yeah. you know, the assets? Last, uh, <laughs> yeah. The real <laughs> asset. The stream, yes, the real assets. Oh, uh, man, that was a great stream that day. Um, Negan's asking, Nate, how many pre-orders are you up to now? Too many. Okay, I'm, I think I'm at 75 now after the freaking um, I, I'm at 75 now, man. Damn, 
God, man, that's that's gonna hurt me, man. And then I think I got pre-ordered the Boba Fett tomorrow with the coupon. Uh, I'm probably gonna drop at least maybe seventy five dollars rewards on that with the coupon, so I have a hundred dollars straight at it. Yeah, that's what I did. About a hundred yeah. bucks off of it. I definitely had to get that though, man. Uh, and then, of course, before that, I had pre-ordered uh, with my my birthday all the money I got for my birthday. I pre-ordered just deposits, mind you, but. Uh, Mando on Blurg, uh, season two Mando and Swoop Bike, um, and Quill on Blurg, and I still got this toothbrush in my hand. Uh, there's a pin. There we go. Um, so I, and then of course I'm waiting for the armor. I'm chomping at the bit to order her in sideshows. Like we're gonna wait for our convention thing, which is tomorrow. So she might be yeah, able to tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. I thought it was Monday. Yeah. The nineteenth is when it said it started. Yeah, the nineteenth. But I thought it was sixteenth through the nineteenth. No, I but I recommend, guys, if you guys are not big on day one pre-orders, the one figure I absolutely will recommend as a day one pre-order is the armor. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want to play no games quick. with that figure. Yeah, no, I don't yeah, want to play again, no games. Again, and there have been to- like exclusives, limited run figures again, and we've talked about this before. The Suicide Squad Batman, the one that came with the rebreather, that was literally sold out in 10 minutes. Not waitlisted, sold out in 10 minutes during pre-order time. So, yeah, certain figures, especially exclusives or limited run ones, they will have the very, very real possibility of selling out well before the figure, you know, even is in production. See, now I'm thinking I should just order from Toys Wonderland and just be done with it. But then I'm paying like a hundred dollars more. So well, I'm just saying their site's screwed up right now. Like you go no, it's in working and working fine for me. Okay. Well, <laughs> like your rewards are all missing. Um, any vouchers you've already got are, might be missing. Any coupons might be missing. Oh, so... I didn't look at your rewards. Yeah, yeah, that, that, daddy, chill, daddy, chill. Don't want to anger the uh, toy wonderland gods at us. Okay. Okay, but anyway, guys, wepa everybody. Um, so, so you guys, wepa, wepa. Weppa weppas, Jack Daniels weppas. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, if you guys were wondering about yesterday, why, why we had to switch our uh, streams, because uh, we were uh, invited to Jetta's patrol stream uh, for last night, and we were like, yeah, let's uh, let's join up. Um, he he invited us literally the morning of the freaking drops. Like after I did my video on the damn. Uh, do or do not on all the figures for that an hour freaking video. Then Jetta hits me up and like, yeah, you want to come in for the stream with you and Don? I was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. So yeah, that's why we moved over the stream. And I appreciate the patience and understanding from everybody else um, mm-hmm. that was here. Uh, you know, you know, wondering what happened. So I appreciate you know you guys being patient about it. So we got the stream today, and then hey, we got freaking Moz with us. You know, so hey. that's I'm I'm excited about it. Just reading the chat here. <laughs> yeah, some of these Life comments size, are gold. Replica of Jack Daniels. Although if it was a replica, I think it'd be a bit fuller. Um, <laughs> yeah. But as far as the scout trooper, yeah, he's I, an interesting time. I have to strap his foot down in order to pose him like that to get that lean. Otherwise, he'll fall off the bike. And the other thing I noticed with this bike <laughs> is the uh, display stand that holds the bike. If I want to lean the bike like this, I had to put some uh, cling wrap on the end because it's just a ball, or you know, just a regular peg that goes yeah. into a hole on the, on the bike. Mm-hmm. And the bike, when I leaned it without it, would just go, <laughs> just kind of start falling over. So uh, I put some cling wrap around it, and now it's able to hold that position without swiveling and just falling off the shelf. But uh, yeah, your your trooper though, dude, it's sick, dude. I love that trooper, the AB trooper. Yeah, the only thing I got right now is this freaking Neon Tech uh, War Machine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, find, find a Star Wars thing. We got Star Wars things. Yeah, yeah, they're behind the freaking glass. That's what. That's the problem. Right. But anyway, guys, um, let's get things started, man. Let's let's just talk about what's going on in the freaking uh, Facebook world. Uh, but especially, guys, have you guys seen what happened with the Mark One Sideshow fixed the issue? You know, everybody was sharing the picture where the Mark One was standing over the base, and it would put it at eleven point eight inches, right? Well, mm-hmm. Sideshow fixed that issue, and they took out the base completely, and they added 
Look what they freaking added. They added 11.8 inches literally on the freaking figure. No base anymore. This it's was just... it with the base. Literally, everybody and their mother was going mad, I tell you. Mad at the 11.8 <laughs> inches with the base. That made it an 8-inch figure. And everybody was like, are you out of your damn minds? It's just sad that we had to placate people like that. Because if you just scrolled down and read, it told you how tall the figure was. You don't... I mean, yeah, I mean, we went through this for a while. Knows the base is not part of the measurement. Yeah, it's I mean, even go to the Hot Toys website, and it'll tell you the exact height, which is eleven point eight one inches, which will lead us into another part of this discussion in a moment. But it literally on the Hot Toys said the actual figure is eleven point eight inches, what? which is the exact same specification size wise as MMS one sixty eight, the two point oh. What what they need to fix is that price, man. That four hundred fifty five dollars, the bird, man. That's well, Don Phonics thing. didn't work for them. I just oh. bought Quill and a Blurg for almost the same amount of money as this one Iron Man figure, man. Crazy. And then even um, there was a picture I had where it, uh, uh, the um, whoever mentioned it had it at twenty nine point seven, right? And I'm here like, okay, that's better because everybody was saying it was nine inches. Tall and I was like 29.7 is at 11.61, which is fine because maybe the the pose is slightly bent to, to lower the the height, but still it's close to 11.8 inches. So why is everybody complaining about this? It's not if someone was measuring it, you know, from the pictures from what it was at, you know, the actual um, uh, display area at Secret Base. I'm here like y'all need to chill. It's not nine inches tall. Are you out of your damn minds? Hot Toys would not cause another freaking Tony Stank, okay? They would not cause another freaking Tony Stank like Mark 85, all right? They would not do this again. This is this is crazy, man. Now, I, I didn't realize because I don't collect a lot of Iron Man. This one's USB powered for the light source, so you don't have batteries to contend with. That's pretty yeah, nice. Fan. But, but the problem that you're going to run into here is people are going to leave it on, and then that light's going to go out, and they're going to be up the creek because, uh, you know. Um, wait, is this the fan or is it the light? It's both. Okay. Dude, so, I think they're two separate ports. Now, light, light other people... function, Yeah, it's a light-up function and rotary function design operate using USB. This this is a game, game changer right here. This is a game changer. But you're going to eventually kill that light bulb, and then you're going to – how are you going to replace that? If you leave it on. You just be smart. You don't leave it on all the time. Oh, come you know, on. I've, I've had on my a... display cabinets LEDs on for the past two years. I haven't never turned them off. <laughs> They're like a night light in this office. So I walk in here. I don't have to turn on the light if I don't want to. I've got ambient light from the display case. Uh, I mean, all my lights in this office are just like all my figures. They're, it's all voice activated. So when I leave, everything gets shut off, you know. Uh Oh, I might have to set that up when I get my detoffs, man. Although I went with the spotlights instead of the light strips. Your detoffs? <laughs> yes. You mean I got your body cases? I, oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, I was going to say, yeah, detoffs don't come with lights or, or no. never mind spotlights. Uh, I ordered a, the, the three-pack of DF-120s. Nice. But why did I do that for? Why did I, I do know. that? He was like, okay, so everybody has seen the actual... So the whole thing's 12 inches? <laughs> that's one of the things the whole thing with 12 inches with the base in the rim uh, but anyway guys, well, that, the, that the, base is a reissue though of yes, the 168 the base, base that's what I was going to say the base is actually a reissue I thought it was new but the actual new thing is the ramp the ramp you, the, the ramp is new so you don't really need to use the ramp the base it's is separate from the ramp, ramp. that's just it's Cyborg's side. ramp with some dirt on top of it and it says Iron Man in the front that's all it is and by the way, before you get going, I don't want to miss this one. Will C is asking a good question. Do you guys think Hot Toys will catch on the custom CCFL lightsabers and capitalize? If they're doing USB tech, potentially, yes. Yeah. I, I feel they are because look what's happening to the previous uh, Star Wars Hot Toys with Jedis and Siths. No light-up lightsabers. So I think they're looking at different ways, like... They were, they're already hearing the issues with the lightsaber arms. So they're like, okay, we're not going to give you the lightsaber arms for now. So we're working on getting these light-up USB lightsabers. That'd be perfect. That'd be freaking perfect. 
Yeah, well, what's there to work on? The technology exists. All you got to do is plug it in. Why, why are we not getting figures of lightsabers now? I mean, but how are you going to apply, even with a micro USB connection, that's still, into a lightsaber, that's still really, really small um, for an area to do that. So I don't know if you could physically actually put the, the port itself in the lightsaber. It still might need to be connected to an, the arm or some way like that, or even through the back. I think the cables um, are going to have to be in the, in the blade or in the handle, like, like when you get a custom one made. I mean, there's, the cables just going to have to be there. Um, and then just plug I mean, it in. that's possible. I mean, that way is possible. But I don't, I mean, if they're not even including um, two micro USB cables for this, so, you know. They're not including them? No. <laughs> now, and that's the thing, too, also. Um, if you're getting this and you're going to want to have both of these things with the ability to light up, whether, again, you put them on a, uh, you that's know. That's another $30 a, a switch. cable on top of the $455 for the figure, man. Well, here's the thing, too. You also would need a USB splitter. Oh, dear Lord. Again, no, I'm just saying, like, for me, I have I have soap reactors. Soap reactors actually have a USB port in them. So in order for me to particularly, for to power both the fan and the lights, whenever I have my voice activated, you know, plug turn on the soap reactor, I would need to have a USB plug splitter where the splitter is plugged into the soap reactor and then the two um, USB wires are actually plugged into the splitter. Um, it sounds a hell of a lot more complicated than it is. It's literally, you get a, like a four port USB splitter. You plug the two ports, I mean the two wires into the port, but you know, the, even if you plug it into a wall. Um, again, you know, you get a USB splitter, six to nine bucks. So. That's still another 30 or so dollars you're adding on to his price tag is my point though. I mean, you're going up to a $500 figure when you go into having to light him up. This is crazy. Uh I don't know. It might happen, man. We might be seeing the price go up just for the damn light up lightsabers. What's up, Jay? Right? <laughs> What's going on, folks? <laughs> oh my God! Okay, Nate. Nate <laughs> looks like his soul energy has been snatched away from all the POs. Not not necessarily all the POs. Is that um, I I work I work third shift, and when I wake up too early, I can't go back to bed. So now I'm in the I'm in that, the answer freaking, that right there. I'm in the mode where I cannot go back to bed now. So right after this, I gotta go to work. So I'm kind of like, oh my god, man! I woke up too early. Now it's like work on my figures, and then we got to the stream. I tried to take a nap, and I was like, I can't take a nap because I uh, it was I I I this is one of the reasons why I hate working third shift. But extra money, I don't mind that. If you need it with seventy five pre orders? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I need I need these pre orders to save my money. I need these pre orders to save my money. But anyway, uh guys, uh, the one thing I am enjoying about this figure is the damn head sculpt. The head sculpt literally screams out, you know. No, it's uh, a good head sculpt. T t and Tony it's a good Stark. Figure. I'm not happy with the price on it. That that's just me. And I don't really do the Marvel stuff. I've fought forever not to do Star Wars and look what's happened to me here. Um so you know. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm kind of I'm done. But but you, but you know, but even though how excited I'm, I am with this figure, my my only disappointment is um, like everybody was talking about this. It was gonna be a two pack, you know. I was hoping for a freaking two pack, man. But they didn't do it. They it literally was a three point oh. Yeah. You imagine really... how much the two pack would be? Yeah, the two pack would put would have put it up to six hundred dollars. I would have taken it. Shoot. Man. Yeah, I mean, it depends on what it looked like, but if it includes, like, the anvil, and instead of the die-cast mask, I mean, the helmet you get, you just get, like, the the actual front plate as in, an, you know, the hammer and the anvil to make it look like he's creating it. I think that would have done better than the, the die-cast helmet as a bonus. Didn't they make that figure already with him, or is that an off, off brand? That was a custom Unlic third party. Yeah, the, um, yeah. I was hoping that you know what we saw with the MMS six hundred, where they were showing off the whole. Oh man, uh, look at the Mark V and the race suit two pack. You know, with the transformation look, I was like, man, this is a hint, bruh. This is the hint that we're getting the freaking Mark One 
two pack with uh with uh freaking Tony Stark with the hammer like ding 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 ding. I'm I was hoping I was hoping man and then then Hot Toys gives us the 3.0 literally a reissue of the um of the original 2.0 but with diecast I'm and with you know light up with the uh, brand new light up functions and I'm here like uh okay it's okay I, I'll still get it because I don't have a Mark One. I think the only other Iron Man I'll buy is the Mark Seven or Mark Six. I have a Mark Seven. I keep saying Mark Seven, Mark Six. If they reissue a Mark Six, I might buy that. So, you, by the way, there was a prototype crosshair at the summer showcase. Just letting you guys know. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, we all saw from... it. His helmet's oh, yeah. wrong. His Actually, helmet's wrong. Let's uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it. I, I got I got the photos, man. I got I got the receipts. You got let's, the marks. Yeah, yeah, we were all watching it last night live at like what 12 1 in the morning or something and we were all commenting on it at the same time and you know some of our chats on facebook so no, yeah look uh, at the audacity no. here look at the audacity that hot toys has a life-size freaking um iron patriot and we still don't got ourselves a freaking iron patriot uh 2.0 Do you even want that? He six looks really wonky here in this picture from that perspective <laughs> He looks funky. He looks like the one they spent the least time working on. Now, see, that looks better. Yeah, but I don't think those are one six scale figures. I think no, those the, are upsized. The, yeah, those, those are the life size. Yeah, those aren't the figures. Those are display pieces. Like advertising. Dioranus. I really wanted to like the Iron Spider here, but I just see Power Rangers whenever I see that costume. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like with everybody with you know the X Men Apocalypse movie. They kept seeing that Power Ranger dude. Go go uh, Spider Rangers! It, it just <laughs> too shiny. Oh, I'll just say this: if you think that looks like Power Rangers, just wait till into the Spider Verse two, when Japan Japan Toho Spider Man is coming in because he's already confirmed. That. I'm fine with that. What I'm not fine with is having to watch that in my Infinity War. If they did the Iron Spider like the comic book and like the video game version, I'd have been really fine with that. But let's see these things, man. Ooh, Ooh. this life size boba. <laughs> Look at this, man. Ah I need this in my life. This life size boba just standing right in front of my door. And I open it. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I, like I like I asked you last night, is this a flex or is like Hot Toys literally coming into the one to one market? I mean, because Sideshow does their own one to one figures and they have a one to one FET. so this almost seems like the perfect flex, but at the same time it introduces them to the one to one market. So I don't know. I mean, it's glorious. No, nah, they're just flexing. It's, it's not gonna be. It, come on, it's not gonna be. They're not gonna do a, a life size version of this. Come on, they're not gonna. You know how expensive they, that would be. You know this, how much uh, the same price. The same price that Sideshow side sells for, then figures sell out. I mean, Sideshow Boba Fett's like not eight nine grand, and it, and I think it's yeah, sold out three or four runs. Sideshow, in many regards. Uh, well, I mean, we're talking about a one-to-one -one figure, which is basically a static statue. <laughs> so. Oh, man. Uh, Christ <laughs> Entertainment is calling Boba like, um, Boba Santa. <laughs> Santa Fett. Santa, there you go, Santa Fett. I love that. Oh, man. I love this, though. Dude, dude, dude. Um, the ladies were, were hovering over this. And then people yep. on the stream were talking about it, how... Is this gonna happen? They were like, "This ain't gonna happen." You know how much money Hot Toys will lose if they make this. Like that's what they were just saying in the stream. Like literally, the people that were streaming it, they were like, "You know how much money we're gonna lose in the stream? They would lose on this figure. They lose on the life size version of this if they make it." Now let's talk about though the Fennec that we saw in the Boba Fett pictures. I think that because the colors look so vibrant, I think that's actually a Bad Batch Fennec they put in with that. So we're probably gonna see a Bad Batch Fennec. Uh, before we see a Mandalorian Fennec. What are your well, thoughts? Well, well, my thoughts is um, they kind of did the same thing with um, what's his name? Um, no, 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 no. What's his name? What's uh, what? Um, Moff Gideon. Oh, the the Moff Gideon. The red is too vibrant on Moff Gideon. So they're they they've been doing the same thing with the bright colors. They've been making them too vibrant, and I, I think they're going to do the same thing with Fennec. 
And Fennec, Fennec is going to be a... I don't think Fennec is going to be a bad match. I think Fennec is going to be a straight-up Mandalorian figure. But yeah, not doing I, the I same thing. Away, to be honest with you, I, I want a Fennec. So. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Everybody was a freaking Fennec. And what's up, Big Dog Pound? What's going on, Big folks? Dog Pound 1, baby. The 1. You can't forget the 1, baby. Wow. I didn't forget it. I just admitted it. Okay. <laughs> I assume no, it was no. put there because what? Big Dog Pound was taken, and they just added a one on the end. Just so when when <laughs> do you sleep? I I don't sleep. That's the problem. I don't sleep. <laughs> I just live, and then Hot Toy just gives me the 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 urge just just keep on living. I'm like with every release, like pop up every release, baby. I need I, I need the I need the life force, man. Come on, baby. But, but uh, uh, did you see the the. Uh, uh, King Shark that they uh Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The King DC Shark looks, yeah, the King Shark looks freaking amazing. But what what's up with this audacity with the Iron Street? I'm getting it, but I find it hilarious that hey, if you want that freaking display of the freaking panels attacking um Emily Ma and the gang, you're gonna have to get it from Doctor Strange, uh Iron Strange moment here. I don't yep, know how so. I feel about that, man. I mean, I can't understand why he would even put that armor on, even though it's supposed to be from a deleted scene or whatever. I mean, I didn't watch the deleted scenes of mine, so... It Stark throws it onto him as he's being sucked out into the vacuum of space. It's not like Strange uh, put it on because he wanted to. It was thrust yeah. on him to save his life. Gotcha. This is what I get for not watching the deleted scenes, I guess. Or the, um, reading the, uh, the concept art book for... Endgame and I mean yeah. Infinity War. I watched the movie; so. it was good enough for me. Watched all the shows, you know. I'm current on Loki and everything else. So. Oh my God! No sleep, powered by Bacardi. Wet five, baby. Yes, power. <laughs> I love this. I love Will C. He's like, <laughs> oh, you're powered by Jax. I I got you. Uh, Will C. Yeah. Like, <sighs> like here, you sleep, you lose a hot toy, and I was like, that's true. That's true. That's the, the other day. Okay, look, so. When they announced these figures, right, I was up all night working on my my display and setting up my Mandalorian shelf. And then, I, you know, I watched Loki. And then out of nowhere, they drop all these announcements at freaking 5 in the morning. I'm like, so take a nap or do a video? Take a nap, do a video. I was like, do a video. And I came out with that freaking hour long video just talking about all the announcements. I was like, I had to talk about it. It was. But, but where were the Loki announcements? I would I would assume we would have seen at least a Loki announcement during this whole thing with the show um, season right during it. No, well, what did you you what did you say? Final season or final episode? Finalizing the their season. season. Yeah, it's okay. not the final season. I, I saw the after credit. BS. Okay, just just making sure because there there is an after credit scene and yeah. Call it, 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 <laughs> well, well, I mean when it basically says, "Hey, Luke, he's gonna return." Yeah. So, I mean, if people who don't watch that don't know that, they think it was one and done, and it's that is gonna lead into future MCU movies. I mean, well, it still it, might lead it, into it future MCU do. movies. But but next year when it comes out, it's gonna be feeding off in events that have already come out from movies this year, like Spider Man. Yeah, I'm trying to go so. to the King Shark because if people want to talk about the King Shark. There he is. There's that. There's my boy. What's there's my that? boy. Yeah, no. no people are saying he doesn't look like a shark. W show in my head. What was that? I keep seeing the King Shark from the Flash CW show in my head. You know, the one that's ripped, not the one that's ate a few cheeseburgers too many. Okay, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, he, they were trying to make him cute, but deadly. So he's he's an adipose with teeth, is what you're saying? For you Doctor Who fans that might know what that is? In pants? Yeah, pants? yeah, I mean... Uh, Go ahead. It's, I'll just say this. It's it's, it's, uh, it's uh, Stallone, you know, Rocky, Rambo... His voice in this guy. So oh, I really? don't. Yeah, so it's one of those things where, you know, some people are like, oh, this is just a flex. They'll never make this. But then also at the same time, I'm like, this is Stallone. So they might make it just because of the fact it is Stallone. You know? 
And it comes so, with a, but it comes with the um, the pair of pants from his jail cell too. Yeah, but see, it ain't coming with nothing yet because they haven't announced a PO for it. This this could be like my my Ripley with power loader all over again. So it'll be a flex. <laughs> Never gonna so happen. You're, so you're saying this is a King Shark flex? Yeah. Right now. Nah, nah, I I know. I think they're gonna come out with this because uh, the, w- one of the figures that was that was freaking not not the figure, but um, it was rumored that they were gonna drop a DC figure. You know, you know for for the showcase, and I and I thought it was gonna be Harley Quinn, but it ended up being the King Shark. And I'm here like, why would they put out the King Shark like this? They they it looks like they might get this out. This is one of the figures they might have this. You I know, think out of all the DC the property they announced, they're gonna get you that Batman from the video game out. That's what they're gonna get you, for sure, because of Batman. I think both of them are coming out. Honestly, I think King Shark is happening. Well, I hope for the DC fans it is. Oh, look at that, a Nightwing. Yeah, the Nightwing that was uh, show uh, that was shown off um, at at SciShow. It's a SciShow Con in the beginning of the year. Yeah, that's the only time we've seen it. Yeah, the accessories aren't too bad with this. Um, this one is definitely coming out as well. But one of my favorites is right here. This freaking Hulkbuster of a Batman right here, Iron, man. The, the Iron Bat. The Iron Bat. Just look at this thing. This thing is freaking awesome, man. The Exe suit, man. Dude, this is this is this is gonna be it's it's it just screams out freaking Iron Man for me. So I have to get this. Um Zada Carr was mentioning that we've got the Mark One before the Cyborg, and I I haven't checked Toys Wonderland for Cyborg because that's not something I'm personally gonna buy, but I know if it is going up for pre-order by Sideshow, you're not going to see it till next week when they do their Sideshow Con. Um, I think that was listed in one of their Sideshow Con announcements. I could be wrong, though. There was a lot of stuff that happened this week. Anybody know for sure? Well, no. Cyborg, uh, he's going to be pretty much um, uh, revealed in August. So don't, don't worry, guys. Cyborg is coming for August. August is going to be the main DC uh, event. For yeah, they're having a showcase. day. Yeah, a day just for DC. Are oh, they doing a DC universe thing again? Yeah, they're doing a DC day. Okay. So. So yeah, so don't worry, don't worry, guys. Uh, don't cut out uh, Cyborg just yet. The only that now here's the thing though. Here's gonna be the kicker. If they show off Cyborg, the brand new Cyborg, and if they don't put up the pre order for it, um. Then you can start worrying <laughs> because I don't know. Hot Toys might be just flexing again, and just like you know what? Let's quiet down the masses. Just give them a give just give them a pipe dream until and uh, and then uh, you know pull the rug under their freaking feet. I'm like, damn, Hot Toys is messed up. Yeah, calm the masses with uh, bread and circus. Calm the masses. <laughs> Exotic. The armor is, is definitely is sideshow waiting for their convention before they put it up. They even said said, said as much on uh, on the on the sign up for the sideshow con that that, that the uh, pre order announcement will be during the con for armor because you can still you can order her right now from like all, you know other websites like Toys Wonderland and stuff. I hate to just be pimping a whole you know one other site, but that's the only one I can think of. Sorry. No, but um. Uh, Not related to Justin, I promise. <laughs> no, the um, the armor. No, it's coming out. The armor's coming out. It's just waiting for the sideshow event that's going to happen. And that's it's a toy fair exclusive. Oh, yeah. so you need to order it ASAP when you see it go up. Yeah, that's the only one I recommend, guys. That really needs to be a day one pre. I know, I know, I throw up day one pre-orders a lot because I freaking just I, I freaking lo- I, I freaking you know usually just do day one pre-orders anyway, but. Um, let me see. Wait a minute. Aaron is asking Nate, "Do you see Hot Toys making up Captain a uh, Balas? How is it Ballast? You mean you mean Hauser? You talking about Hauser? It said Hauser yeah. right there. Hauser Ballast. I think they changed his name like mid production. Um, and specifically, they changed his name to Hauser to reference like Hauser Quaid from Total Recall. One person, two minds. You know, with the chips. Ah." Yeah, um, Hauser, I don't see them doing him because I see a lot of people being mad, especially the Star Wars fans. Like, okay, you gave us this, but there's other clone clone commanders you can do. 
I think they'll do more of the prequel clone troopers before they hit up the Bad Batch. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know how Toys is out of their damn minds when it comes out with um, different figures from different shows. You know, and I'm here like, well, what about the other clone troopers? Like, what happened to Commander Bly? What happened to Commander Fox? What happened to the other commanders that go with your freaking actual figures that you have available for freaking pre-order? Like, no one's pre-ordering the Coruscant Guards, unfortunately. The the the, 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 the pre-orders aren't too high for that because you don't got your Commander Fox to go with or your Revenge of the Sith Palpatine. So I'm here like hot toys. You need to put out your commanders, and then you put out your, your your the guys that follow the commanders. You know what I mean? So exactly. it'd be wild. It'd be wild sometimes. Um, but I would definitely would like if King Shark is one of the figures from the Suicide Squad. I want King. I definitely want um, Bloodsport. I would love the Bloodsport. I would love Harley Quinn, and I would love. Um, What's the guy with the yellow shirt? I forgot his name. The the one that's leading the Suicide Squad. I keep forgetting his name. Oh, Rick something. Yeah, Rick Flag. Yeah, I would like a Rick Flag. Not to be. I thought you were gonna, gonna say you want John Cena. John Cena. Dun, 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 dun. You know what though? He's getting a. I don't know if it's a a, a spinoff movie or a, a series, but he's got a spinoff. So that ultimately means he's surviving this. So, like, there's going to be a separate, like, universe thing now with John Cena. So. Yeah. I guess people uh, buy those things. I don't know who, but people apparently buy those. Ladies! Things. How you doing, ladies? And hey, here they come. Just the ladies. Just having fun. Oh my god, those cute little toys. The, uh, what I definitely Wait, want the toys? most. Uh, yeah, 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 they're holding <laughs> them toys, yes. Ooh, look at my, my, my boy Boba. My boy Boba with the ladies. Ah, oh, man. Boba, man, it's a chick mag. I love that the lead scene, not the lead scene, but the, the. I know a lot of people don't like the special editions, but I did like that one special edition scene where Boba Fett, you know, he's just chilling. Just chill on the wall. Then Java gets mad, and Bo was like, "Hey, girls, I gotta go for a minute. Talk to, talk to y'all later. I gotta I gotta, I gotta act the big bad, okay? My my boss is getting angry. <laughs> I I love that scene. Um, let me see what else. Okay, so, <laughs> um, yeah, the, uh, yeah. Everybody else is just yeah. You know, they're just having fun, you know. I, I I was watching the streams that were over there, and it was pretty cool. Okay, then we got the Black Widow, and then we got yeah. We'll go back. We're gonna go back uh, with the thing. I'm just going forward real quick. And then, oh my God, they, uh, how you guys feel about that uh, armored Deadpool? I love it. What's he need armor it. for? He's immortal, or essentially. You can cut him into pieces, and he's fine. Why, why does he need armor? Uh, it's from a comic line where there's three other characters that are also in armor with them. That includes Wolverine, Captain America, and Tony Stark. So, oh. if they continue this line, there's the potential we get armored Wolverine. Why? So, why does he need armor? I don't know. What does why does a comic no. book do what a comic book does? I don't know, man. Why is water wet? No, uh, no. Deadpool just stole the iron armor. That's what happened. <laughs> Deadpool, Deadpool tends to do that. He just loves either um, make, making his own shit or he starts uh, stealing other people's um, either um, it's vehicles not stealing. or weapons. It's, a, it's called tactical acquisition. Yep. Oh, you see, you see, you got me there. You got yep. me freaking Ta there. It, it, it's a tactical acquisition. <laughs> we'll see got my freaking reference. The ladies! The ladies are in the house. Yeah. I mean, be... Thankful they're not from Philadelphia, if you get that reference. But that was Nate's day one pre-order there, on the other hand. It was that neon tech, right? Because you like that stuff. Yes, yes, because uh, I have my own little, one of my favorite neon techs. You're one of the only U.S. buyers that have neon tech. See? <laughs> yes, the reason why Hot Toys is making these neon techs 
is because of one American buyer <laughs> in the United States. Like, we need to get Nate more of these neon techs. <laughs> I'm sorry for everybody that's getting mad over that. I'm like, my bad. I'm not mean, mad. I just think to. they could release better things like, you know, Ripley and a power loader. <laughs> I got a harp Man, on that. You're just you're just like that reissue Mark Forty Six guy. You just say that every time you can, right? Well, it just seemed to fit. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let me go to the comments. Okay, um, there was one comment. I, I kept pushing it back. I kept pushing it back, but we kept coming up. Okay, so Eric. Uh, he's like, you guys did great on Jetta's live stream. Yeah, thanks, Erica. Yeah, we, we actually saw you uh, as well, like, you know, commenting. And, yeah, we, you know, we had a lot of fun. We were just talking about, you know, the what was coming out, what we were picking up. I, You know me, I'm picking up everything. I'm still on the fence with the Black Widow because I like the endgame Black Widow. But then I also like the Black Widow version they came out with this one. So I'm like, ah, I don't the know head what to do. The it's head, the head Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, if I can get the the um, the Black Widow movie head sculpt and put that on the um, Endgame suit, I think that would be the perfect version of her. But again, to each their own. So, what about Babu Freak and Z Z Zero Bliss? Babu, why Babu Freak? Like, why would Hot Toys go back to a lot to a freaking? Uh, yeah, yeah. Star why Wars the frick? That, why yeah, why, why the Babu frick, frick yes. would Hot Toys go back <laughs> to a line? There, thankfully, is done. <laughs> Which line is this? The so, um the sequel trilogy. Oh. Yeah. The only yeah. ray, the only reason why they would go back, is, the only reason why I will, uh, I would, I'll be okay with them going back, is uh, a um, dark side ray, and that's it. And no, I want the dude that came with the other dude. That's how little I know about phrasing. The phrasing. Who's that dude that came with the blind dude? Is that Bobby? Base. Base. Yeah. Okay, that's oh, yeah. that's Rogue that's, One, brother. That's Rogue One. That's oh, that, yeah, you're that, right. You're right. Yeah, that's considered like prequel, so we're good. Come okay. up with more prequel stuff. We're fine. I got. Uh, but I, but I know everyone wants Babu Freak. I know the best char literally the best character. From the Rise of Skywalker. No I lie. have no idea who that is. Babu Freak. He's Which the, you know, you know yeah, Babu he's the Freak? he's the guy that did the hack job on C three PO, and then for fans of the oh, Aerial Knots, turned oh. him into Creepio with the red eyes. I've only you know? seen the movie once because you know it was hard to watch. Yeah, I yeah, mean, Babu well, Freak, man. Yeah, okay, you know, Babu Freak turned Creepio. You know, made C three PO into Creepio. You know, and he caused the simul um, the singularity engine. So again, people who've seen it will know what I'm talking about. So Aaron's asking Nate, since Hot Toys have been announcing troopers that weren't on screen for that long in Mando, is there a good chance they would announce Hauser soon? Uh, that's the only thing. Um, they might. That, uh, that's the only thing. I I I I think they might do a lot more of the uh, prequel. Troopers versus, but the thing is, Hot Toys is doing whatever they want, you know. So they can come out with a with a Hauser Trooper, like they can literally just have a prototype ready for for the Sideshow Con, you know, uh, because you know Mandalorian and Bad Batch are, are freaking hot right now. Hell, they got. Uh, I think we're gonna go up, go to it over here. They're gonna. Uh, we got the um, what's his name? What is his name? Uh, Crosshair prototype. The ladies. Okay. Yeah, exotic. So that... uh, um, either exotic had mistyped or is really pushing for the grand. A creepio and Babu twenty two pack. So. But yeah, that crosshair looks pretty nice. The only thing is, the, it's the helmet. That's the issue. Yeah, but uh, what you were saying, Don, you had a problem with the helmet. No, 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 no. It was um. Exotic car, he's just joking. He, um, either he did a, uh, either it's a typo where he's really, really hoping for a Creepio and a Babu Frick 22 pack. <laughs> okay, so. okay, so this is the Red Guardian over here. I'm, I'm trying to find the Crosshair. Hopefully Crosshair is on here, but if not, then I gotta just pull up the picture. But yeah, here's the Red Guardian. 
The, you know, sure. when I showed my nephew this Red Guardian, he was like, but where's where's his where's his uh, beard gut? I'm like, oh, look at that. It's, he's not as big. Because that means they're going to use his body for Wrecker. He's going to use his body for Wrecker? I honestly, really yeah. Wrecker, you think? It's a dual-use body, at least. I don't know if he's got a beer good. Wrecker? No, he's just big bone. What are you talking about? He's just big bone, man. He's not. He doesn't got a beer good. But, yeah, this... Now, if they release the red... Now, this is a figure I think they're they're probably flexing if you if out of all the figures they're flexing they're they're or well, they'll be flexing this year um like king shark i could see king shark coming out versus this one i could definitely see them having this one in the back burner and this one will probably be my reason why i won't get tax master like if they come with the red guardian then i'll get tax master if not then i'm not going to get tax master the only one i'm going to get is that brand new black widow and that's it i call it day Well, yeah, right. um, as far as using Fat Thor's body for Red Guardian, I think Red Guardian might actually be taller. He does look so. nice, though, man. Yeah, the Red I mean, Guardian uh, does look nice. Yeah, and so that's that? Prowler. Miles Morales Prowler suit, apparently. Really? Because, again, I thought it, I mean, from the pictures we initially saw, I thought it might be a zombie Spider Man. Because, you know, Where it had the claws. Going? What did what did my computer do? Ah, oh, Six Scale Survival Guide. Hey guys, if you guys want to join up on Six Scale Survival Guide, come on over. We just uh, we we talk about figures. We talk about uh, prices, where where to buy them, uh, and everything. And now I gotta find the freaking photo. Where's the photos at? Ah, I mess I messed up. I messed up, everybody. I'm sorry. My I am. I apologize. Just working on it. Yeah, that, that's that's my wallet right there. That's this is an actual too. representation of my wallet right now. Yeah, the or or, the, or or the other meme. There's John Travolta in your wallet, looking <laughs> for where everything in your wallet is. <laughs> oh my uh, God! T three PO. I gotta give that T three PO. This is gonna be the next uh, Toy for exclusive right here. <laughs> you know the scary thing is, I could actually see them doing something like that as like a, a like as a concept mash series. You know, almost like um, like band. I was it Bandai. They did the the Japanese Star Wars line at one one twelfth, where it's like you have the Ronin Django Fett, the different Samurai Boba Fett, and the different all the different stormtroopers that are representing like the Japanese samurai armors and the different roles they were playing. I totally could see them doing something like that, like the Revel uh, the movie Realization series. So. I need to go through all these photos. I don't want to go through them all over again. But let me see. Yeah, I really got excited for the crosshair because if they're making one crosshair, right, that means they are looking to get the entire line done. You know, I, they're, they look like they're committed to getting the Bad Batch uh, up and running for... Which, you know, if they're doing the whole Bad Batch, that means they're obviously doing an Omega. And I'm going to double down and say if o when Omega comes, she's going to be with Wrecker. Because it seems like Wrecker almost has, like Hunter is the dad, but Wrecker almost seems like the older brother. <laughs> Reissue the Mark Forty Six. <laughs> that guy. Every picture, it's a reissue. Well, I mean, we literally what did we spend like five minutes on this last night? Where like every picture that was um, on Jetta's stream <laughs> last night, every picture was that guy saying reissue Mark Forty Six. It like. It, I mean, I don't know if it's a bot or this guy has a program set up, because literally it went from reissue cyborg or like release cyborg with this guy, to reissue Mark Forty Six, and as sure as the sun will rise, that guy is on every post, every picture. Now putting where reissue Mark Forty Six. So. I ordered that guy. My Even God, I have this, thing, this thing is gonna be so massive. I have a spot. I have the spot ready for him, but damn, he's taking on a shelf. That's the problem. This freaking figure is taken on a shelf. Is he going to fit inside a DF-120, Don? Do you know? Should. Um, that, the, that's the tall one, right? Not the long one? Huh? So you got... Are they longer or taller? Long one. 
it's so long. So if I, if I set it lengthwise, is, is oh yeah, no, no, no. Um, uh, it's I like height wise, it's twenty five or twenty six inches on the inside. Yeah, you should be fine. I hope. Think so? Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> Um, because again, like in my main Star Wars combination, I've got two of the 120s with this, one 130. Um, but I'll just say this. If you think this is bad, for anybody who knows about like Jazzy, you know, who makes, you know, the custom diorams and stuff, I'm just waiting for him to drop the one sex scale LAAT gunship, you know, because he's done the different Batmobiles. He's done the Millennium Falcon. So at this point, I expect him not only to do the Razor Crest or at least the interior. I expect him to do a, a, an LAAT gunship, if not just the cargo bay. Because the scary thing is that is something I would actually seriously consider buying because it would fit in my laundry cases. So I mean, if we're gonna talk about big vehicles, figures, and animals and stuff, I want my LAAT gunship for my clones. I would drop that money for for that gunship, absolutely. Yeah, I needed to send the photos from my phone for the crosshair because they don't got the crosshair over here. Also, guys, we are having a, a small little premiere of a preview of what we're doing for Miss Heroes. And um, my buddy Gabe, uh, he's been on the channel um, on the streams. And uh, he did, here's some of the preview photos. Um, not, not that. There's a preview photo right there of one of the uh, figures that we're using. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. Hmm. Wonder stompy, what... stompy. Stompy, stompy. So if you guys can figure out what uh, figure it, this is, let us know in the comments. But yeah, we're going to be doing a little premiere tomorrow, just just showing off uh, what we're doing. Uh, just a small little thing. It's nothing that big because we haven't started shooting anything yet. Uh, yeah, we're, we're... We're, still, we're still recording voice work for multiple episodes. So, I mean, I've only recorded one episode, right? Yeah, at the moment, yeah. Okay. So. Hi, everyone. It's like, add it, add it, add it. All right, so let's let's go through the photos here that I, I just posted. It was an Imperial posted. Walker. It, it's an Imperial Walker. I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> All right, so let me just go through the photos over here. Yeah, can I just uh, say this? Because we talked about it on Jetta ooh. last night. Um. Iron Strange, it's literally Hot Toys has looked at, you know, the third-party companies and customizers over the past few years. I, doc, you know, Iron Strange is literally like the cannons that go around his arms that weren't with the original Mark 50 release. And then, the you know, the, the Nanite cannons that float. That was originally from a third-party company release. Then the chest panel with the, um, the actual Time Stone inlaid and all the graphics... There was a private, you know, Facebook guy, a you know, private seller or customizer. He printed that exact chest panel and made adapters for the current, you know, um, Doctor Strange, like the wrist um, effects and all that. He 3D printed everything to exactly do what Hot Toys eventually did. But I'm just going to say, this feels kind of like they cherry-picked everything that they didn't do they thought was the best for the Mark 50, and then they just kind of stole the design, so to say, and they just added it to their own figure. That's what Iron Strange feels like. See, my I mean, problem again, with, the, with these later suits like this one here is it's starting to look more like a Marvel Legends as far as the, where the articulation points and stuff. They're not as you know obscured like on my Mark 7. It just... It looks too much like a toy now of an armor on, on a person. Um, that's just me though. I don't like the nanite tech stuff when it comes to translating to these figures. It it looks too much like a toy. Oh, Pot Toy sells the jump like off that throne separately. Wait for it. It won't happen. It won't. Ha they're gonna make you spend that four near nearly four hundred dollars to get the head sculpt yeah, and it, the throne. Yeah, it's not going to be like when they did a, the Wakanda Black Panther throne. The the reason they sold that separately because in the movie multiple people sat on that throne, whereas the only person besides Fat Bib Fortuna sat on the throne is going to be Boba. So there's no financial incentive for them to release it separately. Phoenix sits uh, on it. All right, he sits on the side of it arm, but... with their Spotchko. 
you know? Except I, I, I just have the brown spotchka, you know? The geeking out label, Tennessee <laughs> whiskey. Uh, label. Yeah, the geeking out label, uh, Tennessee spotchka. Well, this is what I'm going to have. I'm going to have Boba Fett just like this with Fennec on his lap. That's what, that's what I'm going to have it. That's what I'm going to have it, like, just like that. Not anytime soon, though, because we won't see Fennec for like another two years. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> I well, like the, They'll announce her tomorrow, probably, but she'll be like twenty twenty five. Ah, uh, now put the armor on his lap. There you go. Yeah, I love the armor, but Hot Toys they should have gave us the freak. They should have, they should have gave us the freaking um, smithing base in the forge. They should have gave us that base. I, I mean, base. all they could do was modify the 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 hollow display table that came with Deluxe Obi Wan. You know, my, 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 I can't even talk now. Um, minor modifications of that mold so it's a little bigger. And then you have a few LEDs reflected up so it, it institutes, like, the flame effect. You know, and then if you did that, this would be an absolute home run. Um, but then again, uh, they should have actually really thought about how they've done the skirt. Because if that's actual rubber... I don't think I'm just going to say, if that thing de deteriorates, that's like a main centerpiece of the figure. Yeah, so unless you're going to go for a battle, you know, like a battle damage effect, you're going to need to 303 that. I, I don't know if you can actually seal rubber itself with the acrylic to a degree where it's fully protected. I mean, just buyer beware. It, you know, especially with the skirt. Uh, they released the Mando on Blur, Quill on Blurg, and then the Blurg on Blurg. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. That's that's the problem. Um, look what happened to the last drone that came out uh, for Star Wars. Um, it was the uh, Emperor Palpatine's throne, and it it was with the Palpatine figure for the deluxe version. They didn't come out with a separate version for that release, so you can buy just the throne itself. So. I think they're going to do the same thing with Boba. It's not going to come out with just his throne itself. Because the thing is, it's not a vehicle. If it was a vehicle, then yeah, I, I, more than likely it would have been a separate piece. So, but so far, they've been allowing collectors to buy vehicles or the uh, what's what's that? What's that one? The uh, a, uh, the uh, move animal animal vehicles, <laughs> the blurgs by themselves. So. The bi uh, yeah the the organic transportation systems, organic transportation system yes. Oh, uh, that's a good question. Do you see Hot Toys doing a 20th anniversary ATOC next year? Ooh, ooh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, look Bad at the size yeah. of these things. You got to make a huge commitment for these things. So uh, as you can see, the strap around his boot back here to keep him on it at that tilt. But. Uh, my, my, but the main concern is though, can he actually hit anything? Well, of course not. <laughs> but, I mean, but look at the size commit, commitment you make for a vehicle figure like this. This is this is huge. I can't even fit it in the full screen. Maybe I'll back up a bit. <laughs> but uh, the other thing is, I noticed is uh, what Hot Toys what promoted this recently, and they did him in a similar position, but for some reason he was shooting forward. And that made no sense. That made no sense to me because he's got guns here. Why does he need to shoot his handgun forward? <laughs> it's a scout trooper. Did they make sense anyways? They can't hit a can ten feet away from them. The, the only pose that makes sense is that you know backwards shot like that. But uh, you know whatever. Let me go put him back. <laughs> Elaine Kramer. Give oh, me no, no, the bag. Oh, the bag. Oh my God, the bag. I love that bag. Give me the Palpatine, uh, uh, Revenge of the Sith, or Ross with the Sith throne with the two dollars. Thank you, Lane Kramer. Thank you, Lane. Um, Nate, Nate, I gotta love it. The collector, our brother, Don. You could drop him, and he'd st and he'd still miss the floor. <laughs> Listen, gotta love them scouts. Um, I will say this though, Aaron. Um, if they're gonna do, I'm actually, I'm not. I'm not even looking. To, I'm not even excited about the 20th anniversary and um, Attack of the Clones because Hot Toys dropped the ball with the 40th anniversary. So I don't even know they're gonna do something. If they do, this is my this is my dream 
anniversary, 20th anniversary for Attack of the Clones. Padme, um, uh, Attack of the Clones Konobi, that will sell. That will sell. Uh, possibly a reissue of Count Dooku. They'll probably do that. Um, and I'm then for one that you really want. What? Watto. Jar, Jar, Jar Jar Binks. I remember Jar Jar Binks. Get out of here with this. No, man. no. Here's the thing, though. If they do Attack of the Clones, I could actually see them not doing it as a figure itself, but as an accessory piece. I could actually see them doing a Watto, especially if they do a Attack of the Clones Anakin, and they give him the swoop bike. Because they've already got the mold for Mando, which is essentially the same bike. So, yeah, I could definitely see them doing, like, a grand set where you get Attack of the Clones. Um, Anakin, you've got the swoop bike, but it's just painted and weathered to Attack of the Clones. And they throw in, like, an accessory piece that's Watto. Just like, you know, you get Baby Grogu with every other figure now. They give you a Watto. And he's the same damn... Pose. Don't get me started on that, dude. Why? Why couldn't they at least let you move his arms up and down? Oh, oh! You got to buy the deluxe, like a deluxe Ahsoka, to get the articulated Grogu. Well, I'm. I got her on order anyway. But uh, do you guys think we will get another announcement outside the Mandalorian and Bad Batch from Star Wars? We are supposed to get a third Star Wars, but I'm not sure that third Star Wars would actually. Um, the Bad Batch Crosshair. So, we're supposed to be, like, I think we talked about this uh, on uh, Jetta Stream, that we're supposed to get more reveals through the sideshow. So, we might see a few more reveals with Star Wars. Uh, especially yeah, since, again, yeah. you know, 20th anniversary is coming up for Tad the Clones. We might see, actually, Mace Windu at this point. Because Mace Windu, like, that's the one figure everybody freaking wants right now for the 20th anniversary. And I see them coming out with a Tatted Clones Mace Windu over the Revenge of the Sith Mace Windu because the only thing, the only difference with Mace Windu Revenge of the Sith is a cut off arm. And I'm like, why, why would they make a figure like that? Nah, they'll just do a Tatted Clones Mace Windu and call it a day. Yeah, but here's the thing if they do Attack of the Clones Mace Windu, that means they got to do a phase one um, yellow sergeant or commander, close trooper, especially the one or, that goes right up to him and says, you know, sir, we have uh, like five special uh, commando units waiting your orders. So if they do him, that also means they're going to start doing like the phase one sergeants and lieutenants. So that's per like uh, that's the p perfect feeder for them to start doing the phase one clones. Thus through Mace Window and the Battle of Geonosis. So it makes sense financially because he's like the in inlay again based on the attack of the clones. You know, he was dropped to the special um, air, the command area, and then I, I, it's not shown on camera. But then Mace Windu actually started taking clone commandos on their own separate missions. So now, do you think if they do the uh, Obi Wan from that, they're going to do the Obi Wan on the uh, on the lizard thing? What no. They, the Come on. So, yeah. That, no. Come back. Come back. Come back. Wait, no, if, uh, they're, I mean, if anything, and I've, I've, I've said this, they're going to remold the Blurg into a Dewback. Why would he be shooting forward like that? That's just dumb. <laughs> My pose is much better than that. They should hire me. He's leaning back behind him. So he's using the uh, gun. Ladies, and, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, we have the true intentions. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm coming up to the crosshair. There you go. There he is. There he is. There's my now, what's boy. What's wrong with his outfit? You said it wasn't right. The, helmet's, the helmet's not right. The helmet's too long. Like the fit, the face place area. It's too wide. It's too long. And then the uh, the side skirts that run around the breathing apparatus, they're also too long and too thick because it's literally resting on the front of his chest panel. They, Maybe they, it's it's, it's almost. It. Like the the like the actual the face place the face plate area looks like it's about ten percent too long and too thick. Mm -hmm. I mean, otherwise the armor looks spot on. It's the helmet though, specifically the side panels and the uh, face plate. Well, see, the problem with troopers, and this is my problem with a lot of them, is you can't pose them, especially in the legs. You got very little mobility to pose them with a lot of armor. 
That's what sucks. I, I'm just telling you this. The new 501st Trooper, I got mine. It's got a brand new body. It actually has ratchets in the legs. So you can pretty much pose like the 501st. Clone but the trooper. armor collides is the problem. I don't think so. I mean, I haven't run that into that problem. Again, I've only got the one 501st from Hot Toys, but I, I like the body. It's, you know, ratchet in the legs. You can pull off some insane displays. So I may I may be looking at buying that after my uh my Mandal or my Boba Fett gets here, I guess. Cause I ordered Rex and I got the Ahsoka, so maybe I should get at least one more five oh first trooper to uh to go with her. Well, yeah, like I've said before, my uh, my original 501st order was tied with my Ahsoka order through Toy Dojo. So when they released the 501st early, it's like, crap, I need to get a 501st now. Because, again, like I said, I'm not getting that 501st till the Ahsoka comes in. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, we'll see with the $2. Wait, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. There you go. May, you guys got to slow down with these uh, comments. Okay. Do you see a one six boga, or am I out of my mind? You are out of your damn mind. I'm, I'm actually throwing this at your at the camera right there. There you go. You're out of your damn uh -huh. mind. We'll see. It's not gonna happen. Uh, that's 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 too much of an expensive undertaking. Like that would be more than the do back. Like I can see a do back before the uh, the the boga because the boga that's a lot of articulation and R and D work with the do back. Barely any articulation. All you gotta do is just articulate the legs, and you're good. Which one With was the boga again? It's the uh, it's your reptilian friend that you were talking about, oh, okay. about Kenobi. Yeah, the one that can wall climb, wall climb and stuff. Gotcha. Yeah, I could see, I could see a prototype. I could see them flexing that. Even though I would love it, I would love a boga. <laughs> but the thing is, you gotta talk about the R and D. You gotta talk about hell. I could see a general abuse for the boga. You know, I, like, I was just gonna say. They, I, not yeah. only do I see the Grievous before that, before the book, I see Grievous with this circular, like Men in Black speeder bike thing. Oh you yeah. Know? yeah. I, I would. I see that. You know, his circle bike before the boga. So. I don't know. Does Sideshow have the rights for Grievous though? Is that why they're the ones who keep putting him out? Maybe, maybe it's a, a rights issue that they don't do. Yeah. Properly? I mean, I'll be um, honest with you. I. I think it's to the point where i mean back in the day the rumor was that either sideshow they lost their current one six scale star wars license or they actively did not renew it now obviously things have changed because of not only what they're putting out like the grievous but what they're actively working on like the animated clone wars versions of obi-wan kenobi and then um anakin they're also working on a separate animated version of Grievous. So, I mean, and then we're getting into weird licensing rules because when Sideshow did the clones way back in the day, even up to a few years ago, Hot Toys helped them with the armor as well. So, I don't... This is one of those weird situations because you actually haven't seen a new Hot... I mean, a new Sideshow 1-6 scale Star Wars figures since Skiff Lando. Now, everything else is a reissue. So... You don't know. Um, I was told uh, for my Boston spies, um, they you know that they're they're literally there in HK and they're talking, you know, with the uh, staff. Uh, it was sort of a licensing issue, or at the moment, their Hot Toys is looking at the licensing to get a General Grievous in. So out that was during the time when General Grievous was first put out. You know, it was when General Grievous got first put out. Yeah, that was we're talking the, the yeah we're talking about this year, not the original like 2012 yeah. release. Yeah, that was that so. was uh, this year, and that was during the time that's Hot Toys is is considering on a General Grievous one six. Hell, they have the one six General Grievous from Sideshow being pre ordered over there at at HK. So there the talks are in. The thing is, will they commit to it? Because they're looking again, at licensing at the moment. And and again, as we've been told by um, the spies that actually live in Hong Kong and then other parts of China, um, there is a cultural issue with you know figures that have forearms. So that may have presented an issue in the past. Um, 
just like again part of the reason why Taskmaster is not having a skull mask she, you know she has the mandible it's because that the censors in China they don't even the movie industry they don't allow skulls they don't allow skeletons that's one of their taboos so again it's money wise hot toys they're not thinking about the American consumer that's not their main customer base it's you know Hong Kong and mainland China so I mean they're investigating it but there are still cultural taboos they have to overcome again with four on figures the Nobi in the house. Stop wishing for more Hot Toy Star Wars. There's too many of them. Bruh. No, no, no. The There's Nobi, not too you're... many figures. There's just too many pre-orders. <laughs> too many pre-orders. The Nobi. You... It's inevitable, man. This... Hot Toys is Thanos right now, man. They got the Infinity Gauntlet. They're going to they're gonna work them pre-orders, man. It's, uh, it's <laughs> unfortunate, but our wallets are done for, man. Our wallets are getting snapped. No, nah, my wallet ain't getting snapped on being smart. I'm only grabbing Boba and I'm grabbing the Mark One. That's <laughs> all I'm grabbing from this. So you, you again, the the Mark One. It's literally two years out. So, like I said, in just continue to get some more points. And at this point, you know, I'm gonna have a coupon, like two more coupons next month. And then with Grievous ships, I'll have a coupon for that. So I mean, it it's one of those things with the Mark One. You don't have to pre-order today. I love Iron Man Mark, and I love the Mark One. <laughs> I'm going to let it sit, and I'm just going to accumulate more points. No, no, we need, we need, uh, we need a group of, we need a group of collectors and influencers to go back in time to the quantum realm to gather all the Affinity Stones just to snap <laughs> out of these pre-orders. <laughs> that. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm gonna. I know with this, I'm gonna piss some people off, including people that were on our stream last night that are cool, cool people. And I'm sorry if this offends you, but Black Widow is a waste of a slot. Slot. It's basically the same as the End Game figure, except you have a, tr a a strap across your chest. Oh no no or no! Back no you got the ankles. Bit. You got the ankles, man. The ladies got the ankle. Well, okay. good. When that breaks, you that's another issue you have to fix. You know, that's, with blue attack and super glue. That's what I was saying. That was saying how thin those ankles are on the freaking uh, Black Widow. You know how much articulation you're gonna be putting on that figure, and then it ends up freaking breaking on you over time through deterioration. Like that's why I like the you know the End Game one. That's why I'm I'm torn here. The End Game, you know, they don't got the ankle pivot, which is fine. I don't need the ankle pivot for the Black Widow. But the exactly. thing is, over yeah, time, he's going to break down on you, and then you, you won't be able to stand on its own anymore. Exactly. And again, if, if you saw the Black Widow figure and you absolutely have to get it, go grab it. Again, opinions are like, you know the saying, everyone guts one and they all stink. Again, we're just shooting our mouths off for our own opinions. If you want that figure, if you love Black Widow, go grab it and don't feel sorry about it. Don't apologize to anybody. Again, that's the biggest thing. You are your own collector. You get what you love. You get what means what to you. You don't apologize to anybody. You display what you want. And then you, unless your wife is involved, then she has dictations over your money or your significant other. I mean, that's another subject, but at the same time, be proud of what you collect. Be proud of your display. You know, you don't have to buy Maja cases like some of us do. You know, just do what you can afford. Display what you love. And then just go from there. It's all about having a good time, about feeling good about what you display. And again, don't care about what anyone else thinks. That's my rant okay. for, you know, positivity for the day. Uh, hey, Dean, what's up? Uh, welcome to the stream. Yes, we did talk about it in the very beginning of the stream, but I'm going to uh, re reiterate it once again. Freaking Sideshow fixed the issue. Every You see what happened? You see the internet? They they raged over one picture, just one picture, and freaking sideshow fixed the picture. Remember the picture had the base and the freaking Mark One. Now the Mark One doesn't have the base, so it's eleven point eight one inches. So it's literally the same height as a two point oh. So no, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be shorter than the original one, the original two point oh. We uh, just calm down, just calm down, internet. 
Everybody yes. was going mad over this. Step away from the ledge. Do not jump out that window. It Look is essentially a 2.0 reissue with die-cast parts and a rework of the electronic system. And instead of batteries, it's USB ports. So. Like, like literally, Sideshow had to fix this. Like, yesterday, it wasn't like this. It, it was literally the Mark I with the base and then 11.8. And everybody was On the oh ramp. God, on like the ramp. Like, not just with yeah. the base, but also on the ramp. So. Nah, it was It was wild. It was a wild experience. Like everybody and their mother was just going, going mad. Like, why would they make it shorter than the 2.0? Like, why would they make it even shorter than 2.0? Even the 2.0 is shorter. It's short. Why would they even make it shorter than that? That's wild. That's a wild concept. Uh, Hot toys. Why, why would they do that? That's that's uh, that's out of the damn minds. If they do that, man, that would be another freaking marketing fight debacle. What I'm Weppa Poppins, y'all. <laughs> I'm Weppa. Oh my god. Weppa Weppa. Freaking Yondu with the with the Captain Puerto Rico look. Oh my God, what the poppins, y'all? Oh, did you see the uh, the captain, the new um, uh, Falcon Captain America, aka um, Captain Puerto Rico suit at Disneyland? It is literally spot on. It matches the the actual show costume a hundred percent. Really? Oh wow. Yeah. Like, there's a picture of Anthony Mackie. He was there for, like, opening night. He's literally standing next to the the actor they hired to play him. And he's and the actor is wearing the goggles. It is literally, like, a 95% match. You know, when he, the, the actor is wearing the goggles, it literally looks like Anthony Mackie. No, did the uh, non-deluxe edition, did that come with the head sculpt? I didn't, I didn't no. recall. I went straight for the deluxe. No, yes. it does not. No, Yeah, the, the Hot Toys, y'all smart. Y'all smart. You you want the collectors if they wanna if they wanna play with the head sculpt and the throne, they gotta drop the money. So if you guys end up uh wanting to just get the Boba Fett uh without the head sculpt, uh there is a there is an option for that. Um but this is just the this is just the, the Boba Fett and Throne. This is the, the price represented with that, but with the regular edition it's um, two fifty. It, right here, it's two fifty without. But the there, helmet. there's two versions with, of that uh, too. Without the, th uh, without the head sculpt, there you go, two forty five yeah. actually. Yeah, and there's two versions of that. The holograms and the one without it, right? Yep. Yeah. Of course, I got the holograms. Not that I'll ever use them, but. I mean, some of those holograms for the Iron Man figures, they actually go for insane money. Mm. Like again, there's the Charter Bank Hong Kong version of the Mark Fifty. The hologram that comes with that special version, because there was only like 50 made of that hologram, the hologram itself is selling for like $2,800. Just the hologram. The hologram of what? The special edition of the Mark 50 Charter Bank version. Now, Charter Bank in Hong Kong, and now again, I might be saying the wrong name of the bank, but essentially you had to open a bank account that had... I think like a hundred or hundred and fifty thousand dollar initial deposit. Jeez. Then you, you had to have a certain um, balance over a long period of time. Then you would able to buy the actual Mark Fifty as a special edition through the bank through Hot Toys. Again, you got a, a special edition hologram. Your oh, base hologram. was different, but the figure is going for like thousands of dollars because they the only made. Of? What, what was the hologram? Of the Mark Fifty, but it was green. Oh, again, and it also came with I a different base. Paint. I can make it green. I, I'm just telling, like they they made the hologram specific for that version. They made the base different and specific. And it, again, it's one of those figures that you had to open a specific bank account in Hong Kong with a bank. You had to put a massive U.S. base deposit down of like I think a minimum of a hundred or hundred fifty thousand dollars. Then you had to maintain a specific high balance in the hundreds of thousand dollars in the U.S. Then you were given the opportunity to buy the figure through the bank who made a deal with Hot Toys. So That's cray-cray. Yeah, and again, the figure itself goes for insane money. Never mind the hologram. Did you see, uh, I think it was 1-6-J on Instagram, I think he did a Cobb Vanth custom? Or oh, that, yeah, with the, with the Raider? The, yeah. That looks insanely good. Yeah, that looks really good, man. I was jelly. It was very jelly. Yeah. Um. So let me see. Uh. Who was who was asking this? DVS. 
guys, why the repaint Boba Fett armor so sloppy and not accurate as uh, on the TV show? Yes, it's actually it's, accurate. Uh, not really, because it's um, it's not as smooth. That's the problem. It's not as smooth. The color's not as smooth like the. Um, I like think it. Oh, because because here's the thing. He didn't scrape the armor. I mean, the previous paint off his armor. He just painted it over. Painted exactly, and it's almost the thing. If you look in the series, it's almost like in the last episode when he's flying the fa um the slave one while he's you know fake attacking. You know with that ship. Yeah, exactly. When he's at um attacking Bo before they're going into um to rescue Grogu. I mean, it, it seems like it was, again, like you're saying, he did not scrape the armor. He just did a quick repaint job over it. And it almost seems like that's accurate for what happens if you don't prep an item and you just paint it. You're going to have that bubbling. You're going to have that texture. And again, it's my personal opinion. I actually think that's accurate. Or the, like the texture is for not prepping and scraping something again for anyone look, who's done custom. Look how smooth my boy is. Look how smooth my boy is right here, man. Don't, That's just the lighting difference, this. though. This is look, not. Look this is not a hard light. Boy. It's not. This is not a hard light on him. So I mean, look, look over right. I'm pointing again. You're not seeing, but uh, right by his, uh, his. Uh, what do you call uh, it? The dent. No, the other side. The other I mean, side yeah, because you you can see you can see texture. You can see. Paneling and flaking. Do so you see the sight there on this helmet? Yeah, yeah look I see the directly sight. to the side of that and see like a little bit of bubbling there. Yeah, oh, okay, right, I see right, it now. right there. So it's just the lighting. They're using a it's soft the light here. They're using a soft light here. So you know he's getting all the hard light on the other one. That's a whole different lighting. Yeah, I mean I'll just say this to anyone who's watching: first world problems. Yes, we are literally looking at the figure. And trying to determine whether the pain effect is right or not, but yes, we are that intensive in making sure our figures are accurate. Like, to the I, don't, best I, like of I don't mind. Rate. I don't. I don't mind the uh, the way the uh, way the figure looks right now. The only the, that's the only thing though. Like I, I wanted to be as close closely. Like the sage during during some of the lighting, the sage is not the way I want it to be. Like kind of like in the show. It depends on the lighting, though. Some of the lighting, the sage uh, looks really smooth too. Like, I'm gonna show you right here which other, which other, which, which other pictures. There you go. Look at that sage right there. That sage looks nice right there. And and there's my freaking Rogue One Stormtrooper that Hot Toys needs to release. Hot Toys, give me the Rogue One Stormtrooper with the two pack and E Web Cannon and call it a freaking day. I'll have the <laughs> pre order ready trigger on it first day pre-order come on baby give me that i'm gonna have to drink to that i would i mean i've already got a few right next to krennic and his death troopers um but i definitely grab another one a clean one with an e-web absolutely but they, my question is now guys since hato decided they wanted to drop this on us the two pack with the clean arm not too bad but the clean armor with the throne which was your go-to now like do you guys want the Two pack with the Mythos Boba Fett, or you just want the uh, Boba Fett with the clean Boba Fett with the uh, throne? I'm getting I'll both. You. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. But all right. So you've seen it. I've shown it before. I actually made a custom found Boba Fett armor um, from the Mythos version from Sideshow. I deconstructed that because of this figure. So I may attempt to build my own custom Cobb Vanth. Um, but I just love this clean armor. I love the the new oversuit. I love the fact that his arm, like the shoulder panels, aren't actually attached to his, like the uh, chest plate. It's a separate piece that he had to physically make and attach himself to a different shirt. Again, I'm an armor junkie. I love his new armor setup. And this is beautiful. And again, I've already pre-ordered this. This was day one for me. I'm an armor junkie, and I think this is glorious. But letting you guys know that, um, be aware that the bolt that you are getting here with the head sculpt doesn't have the acid damage like the two pack is, and we're gonna look at that too. But this one right here is is a lot cleaner. The head sculpt is a lot cleaner. There's no bow damage to it, but it does have the eye shifted, kind of like what he did with the. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, the um, 
the Guardians of the Galaxies, uh, um, Star Lord head sculpts. You know, they started shifting the eyes a lot. They did the same thing with this Boba Fett head sculpt. So if you got a problem with the eyes being shifted to one side, then yeah, this this the head sculpt might not be for you. If you, I know some people are iffy about eyes getting shifted in head sculpts. Yeah, I mean, and I'll be honest, I just ordered the normal version, but, you know, with the special holograms. You know, right, Moss? Um, you know, with coupons, some points I dropped or whatever, I paid, like, what, 180 185 for this? That's something I absolutely can w live with. You know, it's under retail. I mean, and I'll be honest, for my display, I don't know if I'll ever display him with his head sculpt, you know? It's just like Cody. I don't know, again, if I'll ever display him with his head sculpt because from what I can think of, what I would display him at, there's no reason to. Um, so, again, you have to realize, are you going to display him with a head sculpt on the throne or not? Is the throne a big deal to you or not? Again, I this is, you know, where some of our opinions may differ. You know, some, you know, like Nate, for 390 it's a good deal. If you want that throne and the head sculpt... You're essentially only paying $140 for a new head sculpt and a throne. Now, that is an absolute, I think that is a steal of a deal. But if you don't need the head sculpt or you don't want the throne, there's nothing wrong with grabbing the normal version that doesn't have a head sculpt for $250. And again, it's all about your own finances. It's about what you want. It's how it's here on a display. Again, like we said, research. Take a few minutes and actually think about how you're going to display this figure before you buy it. And then make a choice that way. Uh, DDS has asked Boba Fett 40th anniversary on wait list. Uh, yeah, it went to wait list today. Um, I thankfully got one from a different website, but so I paid ten dollars more than Sideshow. It was two ninety nine for mine at uh, I'm up time, and I bought their last one. So yeah, um, yeah, I posted that on the on the on several pages on the uh, wait list. Uh, not the waveless, but the five the minute, yeah, the five minute blue screen on that yeah. Boba Fett. Yeah, I posted, I posted about it like a few, uh, like a day, literally a day ago, like yesterday. So yeah, I just now saw it today, and that's when I went to make the purchase. I saw your post, and I was like, oh shit, because I was on the fence. I was like, do I want it? I don't know, because I don't really want to go backwards from Mandalorian. I want to stay in that place. But as I mentioned earlier, it's Boba Fett, and. Uh, I'm going to regret it later if I don't buy them. So. Um, also, what I was going to say, um, yeah, as, uh, when you were talking about uh, Cody, Don, you know what I did? I just bought two Cody's because I had that <laughs> issue. I was like, okay, you know what? I'll just buy one Cody with the uh, – keep the helmet on, one Cody with the head sculpt, and I put the other head sculpt on my Boba Fett. Which exactly. I can't, I can't pull them out. No, nah, nah, it'll knock down freaking uh, Turid Imwe. Yeah, if I try to pull them out. Yeah, yeah, and it's like that. It's that thing with me. Um, for Cody specifically, I don't, and I don't know if I said it before. Um, I got a upgraded um, CCFL saber, you know, for Kenobi for Attack of the Clones. I'm not Attack of the Clones: Revenge of the Sith. So it's one of those things. I have to set that up, and then I have to look. Do I still want to keep the same pose where Cody, you know, has the hologram of Palpatine up, or do I want to actually? set that up as a the full battle pose because I'm going to go for an, uh, an Utapau battle diorama once Grievous comes in in my Maji case. So it's almost, what do I want to do with Cody? How am I going to display him now because I have the additional items for Kenobi? So, yeah, like I said before, first order problems. Broken, I agree with you, man. Uh, Han Solo and Carbonite to go with your Boba, but yeah, two fifty is pretty pretty steep for just to. I mean, I have I have um I have Car Han and Carbonite, and I have um you know the ESB Boba next to him. I'm gonna tell you flat out, it looks beautiful. Um, the coloring is great, especially if you have the ability to light up. The uh, and carbonite. Now it's all through um, AAA batteries. You can get off Amazon basically hardwired batteries that will plug into your wall outlet, and so you can literally have that thing lit up all the time through the wall. So 
Yeah, again, that's one of those things. It, um, it does take up a little bit of space, but it is an amazing display piece. It's an accessory figure, so to say. It's a display piece accessory. But you do it right, it does make your display. It's a centerpiece of it. Yeah, I, see, I know a lot of people are complaining about the two-pack over here being four ninety five, almost $500. And the, um, the Boba Fett with the throne is a, it's only three ninety. So, um, well, the thing is, at this point, you are spending another figure with the four ninety five versus just a um, a throne. Now, here's the thing, though: does he come with a cyclo rifle? So yeah, potentially. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now, now here's the thing for me: I have a custom Migs. I have a custom Mayfield head coming. I should have it tomorrow, if not Thursday. I mean, um, Sunday. I'm again. I've got a proof of concept body. I'm, I'm making a Migs Mayfield figure, and I want that cycler rifle. You know, even if it's I don't put him in the transport trooper armor yet. I want that rifle just to you know display that scene where he's literally he's taking off one shot and he blows the whole damn facility up. So, and you also get a lot of stuff with this that you do not get with the. Um... Well, a lot of accessory stuff. You get the well, uh, the you get the um, the jetpack, uh, the the actual rocket fire here too. The jetpack fired two bases. Yeah, you get a lot of stuff with uh, this one versus the um, the throne one. But you know, the throne is that the that's the big accessory for you. So yeah, no, no, and I'll be honest. How long until we see third party companies putting up that throne for like seventy, eighty bucks? I can you know, print the, one out right now. In fact, I was going to print one out for Nathan, but it looks like we don't have to. So, it's <laughs> a lot of resin, though. It does. The, at least the way I was going to print it. Oh yeah, the knee rockets too, as well. Look at that. You get you get a lot of stuff compared to the, um, to now I can see why you know it's four ninety five compared to the three ninety that you get just for the throne. So that's a that's quite interesting. But the thing is, you're getting another figure as well. That's the that's another thing. What's nice is those knee rockets will probably work for any of your Mandos, like Mando and your other Boba Fett. I mean, I'm not, yeah, use, I mean... You'll probably use I've it in any of them. I mean, like I said, I just deconstructed my custom um, Boba found army, a uh, found armor. So I, I have an extra set of those Mando knee pads, you know, from Boba Fett. And like you're saying, one set of paint, and they literally can be used on any Mando. So, or on this... Oh my god, this is hilarious. So wait. So the eyes are shifted on one side for the scarred bow of a head sculpt. And then the other you mean to tell me that freaking Cody is the only one with straight eyes? <laughs> well, uh, what's his name? Um No no, um the Bad Bash. Two of the Bad Bash figures have the straight eyes. So Alright, give me one second, I gotta Go use the little uh, trooper's room. The little trooper's room. Yeah, I'm I'm getting both though. I'm getting both sets. So how you feel about that? Uh, That's what I did. Maz. Yeah, I jumped on I jumped on that set there, and I jumped on the throne set. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> next. Boba will have them straight. The thing is, the bad bash they got their eyes straight. I don't know what's up with these bobas. <laughs> like the only one, the, the only Tomorrow Morrison head sculpt. Uh, true one, you know, not animated versions. Um, well, not anime. You know what I mean by animated? Like the head sculpts are based off the anime into a live action. Uh, Cody is the only one with the straight eyes, <laughs> and I use that as a uh, Boba Fett uh, placement for my uh, for my uh, ESB Boba Fett. Man, but see, I'm not. I'm not even going to use his head sculpt on Boba Fett. It's just going to be. On the the uh, the sand person version of him, whatever you call that. So I'll be able to change the of his eyes though. When I get both of them, I'll be like, I don't like the eyes looking that way. I'll put the other head scope on. You can look to the other side. Man, this is a lot of money, man. A lot of pre orders, a lot of freaking money. It's getting, it's gonna get wild, man. Next year is gonna be a wild year. 
just uh, plan out your payments, plan out your figures, because they, they, they're coming for our wallets. Hot Toys is coming for our wallets. It's going to be a lot of fun, though. It's just to navigate through the battlefield. I think Sideshow is going to be hitting my wallet next, not Hot Toys, because I got that uh, Michael Myers coming. And, uh, well, we, we saw them reveal him, you know, a week or so ago. So I, I imagine it's just another week or two before they hit me up saying, pay for him, please. All right, so let's see. So we got the Spider-Man black and gold suit. Yes. Uh, read Mom's message. Yes, I already did it. So, yeah, we got the Spider-Man black and gold suit, and then the Bowl of repaint armor, and then the Bowl of repaint armor over here, two, 245, not bad. Then the 455, and then the Iron Strange 440, and then the Armorized Deadpool 405. This Deadpool is going to be a lot of fun. Like I have, I have like most of my Deadpool's. This is gonna be a lot of fun to uh, to keep in the collection. I know a lot of people were like pissed off with this because this was the other Iron Man that was that was being talked about. Like there was supposed to be another Iron Man being revealed through through. Uh, well, <coughs> there was two, and it ended up being Iron Strange, and then this this one right here. And I'm I'm more excited with this one than the Iron Strange. And like we told you last night, um, we talked after Jetta stream. Um, if they're continuing this line, there's three more armorized figures that we may see, to include Wolverine, Cap, and Tony Stark. So, again, this is a comic book iteration. So, can you imagine a weaponized Captain America? You know, like all the promos and even people are customizing the Mark 50 to be an like a Captain America Mark 50. We would literally see a Captain America armor suit. Yeah, the the one thing I'm really waiting for like Hot Toys, you can do a big flex with this. Give us the Cosmic Ghost Rider. That's one that's the one I want with the baby Thanos. The Cosmic Ghost Rider with the baby Thanos. Yeah, that that would be the ultimate flex. But that would literally sell out if they, if, you know, if it was like a toy fair or limited exclusive. That would be one of those figures that probably sells out in 10 minutes. Ooh, Venomized Wolverine. That's that's a pretty cool, cool one, too. If they if they ever want to go back into Wolverine, that'd be a cool one. Yeah, yeah, I love his Deadpool. The Deadpool looks like a freaking miniature Gundam. Yeah, that's what yeah, I love. Like a, it has that anime vibe to it. Because the, like the chest panel, it has it's it doesn't have those sharp angles. It, it it it's almost smooth running into organic angles. You know, it doesn't have the sharp angles. You know, some people are trying to say this almost looks like a repurposed Star Boost armor, but the chest panel doesn't work. It looks like War so, Machine armor. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a War it's Machine. A Mark IV. Yeah, it's, it's the a Mark, Mark IV. IV. But the chest panel itself does it. It's the chest panel looks almost like the Starboost panel, more than the uh, the Mark IV panel from the War Machine. See, I like the Iron Man armor when it looks more like this, more clunky, not so nanite, like string. Organic, yeah. yeah. I don't like the bodysuit look. Especially like when they in the movies where they have his helmet shrink off, and it just looks really CG around the neckline. I don't know. It's just me. And then, of course, I see it on the figure, too. When I see the figure, I'm just like, ugh, it just looks bad. Yeah, now, I might grab the 85, the final battle version, because, like, the other ones, I had the Mark 50, but I sold it because, again, like you are saying, it, it looks almost too organic, too anime. Uh, or I, for Iron Man, I, like, the Mark 7, I love it. It's, like, the perfect battle suit, you know? It, it's clunky. It's armor, not the nanites, like Moz said. I prefer the boxy armors. I'm gonna put it in a video game. So, there you go. All right, Dean is asking Nate, does it bother you that the Mark One diecasts will still be shorter than the Mark Four, the Mark Five, the Mark Six, and the Mark Seven figures? To be honest, for that money, it should have been the same height with the others. Uh I, um, as for me. Because I I just started collecting, you know, two years ago. 
So this is my second year of collecting Hot Toys. Um, I don't have a Mark I diecast. And a lot of people were excited with the very first, uh, t- no, not the very first, but the 2.0 version of the Mark I diecast, right? And, but the, you know, that, and people really liked that figure. But it wasn't die, not, not diecast, it wasn't diecast. It was a Mark II, two point, Mark I 2.0, but there was no diecast to it. Now people were selling that figure because they knew this was, this, the 3.0 was coming out with the diecast. And I think I'd be a bit more disappointed if I did have the Mark I and I expected better off it, then yes, I would have been a lot more disappointed. I'm going yeah, now, exactly. Now again, in after our stream, we in while we were um, watching the you know the summer showcase live stream, we we did do some research, and you know things being what they are, um, it, it it seems like it's a good value. You know, so, uh, uh, yeah. Compared to, compared to what the Mark One is selling for right now, yeah, yeah, uh, on like eBay, One, yeah, like yeah. used used one sixty eight, which is the two point version, which is basically the same height. Everything is the same. It has the same base aside from the ramp. Now, again, you go to eBay for used ones. The minimum that you could find was running six six to Six to six fifty plus shipping. Now again, even if this is a reissue with diecast parts, upgraded electronic system to run off USB, this is four forty five. It's one of those things. It's still going to be two hundred dollars cheaper than the cheapest you can find on eBay or any other site where you can find a used two point oh Mark One. Any new in box two point oh Mark Ones, you're looking at eight to eight fifty minimum. Again, on eBay, Mercari, any of those sites. So it's one of those things. If you don't like the, um, the current diecast and you're going to go look for the 168 Mark II, I mean um, version 2 of the Mark One, you're still going to pay a hell of a lot more than what it costs for this version of the Mark One. So just I don't keep know if that price in mind. to come down, keep people you know selling their old one to get the new one or something, but you know, for the USB... Uh, I mean, I mean the Mark One version two, for the numbers they put out, I don't know if I'd call it rare, but I'd call it uncommon. You know what I mean? So the the secondary prices dictate the available supply. So, and again, the Mark Two is was one sixty eight, so it was put out a long time ago. Hmm. So. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you guys are interested, but they came out with a John Wayne figure. I don't know who the, uh, I forgot the company that did it, but I really, I really was excited with this one because yeah, what's the uh, company? I should tell you there. Yeah, Infinite sta- Statues, but so it's a six statue. scale figure. No, it's a six scale figure. But it's well, a, if you look but, at the premium format figures, it says six scale figure on them too with the sideshow ones, even though they're statues. No, no, the, see. Look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah, it's a... It's a you six... know, if they're going to do John Wayne, they need to do uh, Green Beret John Wayne. I would absolutely drop the money for Green Beret John Wayne from the movie from the 60s. So. Yeah, I wanted to bring this up because I was like, wow, they someone's doing a John Wayne from, uh, you know, True Grit. So, I, yeah, that's one of my, you know, one of my favorite movies with him, so... Yeah, I mean, John Wayne is just is one of those characters, just like with Sideshow doing the um, Clint Eastwood line. There are so many figures they possibly could do. But then there are some, again, just like with Clint Eastwood, with me, you, and Gabe, we were all like, we all love this, but the one figure we all agreed on that needs to be made is Space Cowboys, John. Um, it was Clint Eastwood. You know, either in the white full spacesuit or the orange pumpkin suit. For John Wayne, there are so many different iconic roles he's played. They could, if they wanted to, do five or six different figures of John Wayne, and they would all sell well because they're all different iconic characters. So. No, no yeah, the, how I feel about the head sculpt, though. It's a little rough. He looks a little bit like Robin Williams with an eye patch. Yeah, so, yeah, I was feeling that, too, yeah. 
he does have that right. On the other side, mainly, but yeah. Yeah. Um, what they're asking for? How much? Is they're at two, three, thirty-five. It's a little steep, man. What, what is? Well, that well, that's that's um, that's a state licensing because his family is in charge of his estate. So you're paying for licensing on that with the head sculpt. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna have to up that uh, likeness, but it's it's not too bad. I am interested in getting right here, John Wayne. John Wayne. Right now, uh, uh, Robin Williams. <laughs> Robin Williams. That's what that's what I wanted to bring Sellers, up. Man, I'm all about that. There you go. Let's get Peter Sellers. How much is he? Not old I, enough to know Peter Sellers. Okay, oh, now so it's now gone. Else. Now, now now it's gone. My bad. I, I press back. My bad. Man. Now I'm just right. depressed. <laughs> so pretty much the the lineup, I, I what do you guys think? Are we gonna get more on these figures in the next coming I'm I'm feeling that we might see a bit more from the Sideshow Con. Because why would they why why would Hot Toys have a few uh, why would Hot Toys, you know, be featured with Sideshow Con if they already, you know, you know, put out everything? Well, with the summer, wait, uh, yeah, summer, summer fest, right? I mean, I'll be honest. If anything, I think it's going to be Mando Luke. Uh, Mando I mean, dropping, Luke. Yep. Now, again, I don't. I know everyone's saying that they do a two pack or a three pack. You know that come. He's obviously going to come with an articulated baby Yoda, so he can do the actual, you know, hug pose at the end. Whether he comes with a Hot Toys R two, I don't know. You come now, up. now, no, and I'll just say this. Now the fact that Chopper f- appeared in Bad Batch, hell yeah, I would not be surprised if Hot Toys actually shows a Chopper, a Hot Toys actual one six Chopper, and they kind of design it almost like the um, the Black Series, where he comes with a base, where it's. You know, like the steam trail from his, you know, bottom mounted thruster instead of the third wheel. Um, but again, that that just might be me as kind of like a personal girl. I want a Hot Toys Chopper. And again, Chopper is now canonically appeared on Bad Batch. He has played a decent role. And again, this the next episode continue on. So we, we're still going to see him at least in the next episode, if not more. So... Now, Hera, was that the same voice actress, but with a French accent? I think it was someone different. Someone different? Because it was supposed to be a kid. It kind of sounded like her, but not quite. So I wasn't sure. Yeah, Doc wow. Smizzle, I said Chopper. We need Chopper. And again, he also needs to come with changeable change-out leg panels from Rebels. That'd be good. Wow. Give me Chopper. Give me, give me Charles Bronson. Oh my God, freaking Death Wish! You yeah. know how I many freaking Death Wish movies? That oh my God, there's That'd like five. Give me my chopper! Give me my chopper now! <laughs> but yeah, I, I, you know what's funny? Uh, a lot of people were saying, "Ah, oh, we're not gonna get the Mandalorian Luke. Not get out of here, Luke Manda. Why? You're like, I'm like, have you seen what Hot Toys been putting out? Mandalorian after Mandalorian figures." They're gonna drop a Luke Mandalorian. Who who we missing besides uh, Gina Carano? Who we missing? Grief, uh, Carl Grief, or Grief Grief Carga? Yeah, Carl Grief Weathers. Carga. Yeah, Carl Weathers. Yeah. Uh, who else are we missing? Anybody else? You think of? Uh, we're missing um, um, Cobb Banth, Bubble Fed version. That's uh, gonna come out. You think that's gonna be coming out? You think Hot Toys will do it? Yeah, they're probably the most like it's a bubble fed. I, I I know either they gonna I would love it if they give us a Cobb Vamp head sculpt, but hell, they don't even need to drop the Cobb Vamp head sculpt. They could just drop the the Cobb Vamp bubble fed look. No, no, and here's the thing. I know some people are gonna completely think I'm nuts when I say this. I think Cara Dune is still in play, especially since there was almost like a detente where all of a sudden. You know, her episode with Bear Grylls is on TV. She's spotted on the set 
you know, Book of Boba Fett and Kenobi. So, again, I'm just saying, and then all of a sudden Hasbro is putting her toys back out. Like, you can actually go get a Hasbro Black Series and, you know, the like the vintage and retro lines of her if you can find it. But any embargo was lifted. So, again, it, it might not be a popular opinion, but I do think Cara Dune is back in play. Especially oh. for Hot Toys. Again, because Sideshow, they never canceled her premium format statue. So it's almost like Sideshow, they wrote it out to see what was going to happen. And then again, they lightened up and Hasbro started putting her toys back out. Sideshow never canceled her statue. So again, I'm people might not like it. But people might think I'm crazy. But I think Cara Dune still might be in play. Does that, does that stand a reason then that Kathleen Kennedy might actually be on her way out? Well, I mean, I don't know if she's on her way out at all. But again, if according to multiple rumors or whatever, even if she still is going to be a quote-unquote president of Lucasfilm... She has been told she has n she no longer has anything to do with Star Wars. You know, and again, it took a while, but again, Dave Filoni on the website, he was promoted. So his actual title is basically not president of Lucasfilm, but like the head of de developer creative. Um, so kind of like the Kevin Feige of Star Wars? Exactly. Which well, is funny because he's working with Kevin Feige to actually write a Star Wars movie, if not a new trilogy, which might be a Mando trilogy. I think, though, Cara Dune might be the one figure I would pass on, though. I don't know if I really want her. I mean, sure, she's, you know, I like her character on the show, but I don't know. I can't decide if I'd really drop the money on her. No, the thing is, I, I feel that anything is possible now since... If we're literally getting a freaking Justice League cyborg after all the freaking controversy between between the actor and the actual WB company, uh, anything is possible now. Like literally, no controversy is too high at this point. Um, I, I, you know, unless uh, you get to the point where you know you literally uh, <laughs> uh, did an actual crime, then yeah. I'll just say this. Forbes, the actual financial magazine Forbes, they did an article. They did financial analysis. They did all sorts of above and down. They called out Star Wars, specifically Kennedy, for firing, Cara, um, for firing Gina Carano. Because they literally, they did analysis. Cara Dune, in some areas, was outselling the Mando toys herself you know in the grand scheme of things she is the second most profitable character not against mando but against grogu hmm. so it, again it's not over like in some the like some um areas you know some with you do the um statistics and the um the age demographics cara dune was outselling both grogu and mando but overall her numbers are right up there with both Grogu and Mando. It's, you know, with the retro figures, the Black Series figures, anything like that. So, She just needs a publicist to, like, check anything that she's about to post before she posts it. That's all she needs. I mean, I don't... I'm not, I don't want to get into the huge discussion of it, but I didn't feel like anything she posted was malicious. It was more or less wake up and, you know... I'll, I'll just say this. You know... Her message was wholesome, but her delivery was wrong. Oh, yeah. Her setup it's just was completely wrong. wrong. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she, yeah. I, I honest from what I said, she actually felt. And again, some people might take issue with this. I, I didn't think she was actually making any attempt at any ill will towards anyone. No, no she wasn't. Again, like we said before, it was just the wrong execution of the right idea. Well, especially in this day and age. But yeah, I mean, just people have no. Anyway, I don't. Again, I don't. Well, want... the, what the thing is, uh, for a long time, unfortunately, like Cara Dune was battling against the Twitter bots, the uh, Twitter mob. So, yes. which so I heard it was, was it was coming. It was, was coming. Was, so yeah, I heard that was rumored that it was part of Kathleen's Kennedy camp that started that. But I mean, there was a yeah, there was a rumor about that too. But but the thing is, she, well, well, let's just she, say there were leaked emails that uh, 
again, if to believe they're confirmed to come from Kennedy's email, where she was the one that initiated the whole smear campaign. And supposedly, again, if you believe the rumors, somebody from within Lucasfilm actually emailed those email, you know, exchanges and chains to Gina Carano herself. So, potentially, if she wanted to, again, if you believe the rumors, she has the marking, makings of a huge lawsuit against not only Disney, but Kennedy herself specifically. Yeah. So... Uh, Denobi is like, there is a resin plastic shortage in China right now. We ain't got time for that, dude. <laughs> That's, That's the thing, not though. True. Like, I just got resin a... shipped to me next day from Amazon. Usually, I gotta wait forever for that stuff, man. Although my 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 delivery time is now pushed back till possibly 10 p.m. tonight, but you know that's weird. <laughs> so I don't agree with that at all. Plastic being short. But that's okay. that's that's the thing though. Like I feel that um, we might get a uh, Cara Dune, but I I feel that because we got a freaking uh, we're not got, but we are eventually getting a cyborg. So anything is possible. Um, let me, let me see what else did I want to talk? Oh yeah. That's another thing. Uh, because <laughs> that's the other thing I, I brought up here with the, um, with recycling the, those pops, you know, I have, I have like, let me see. How much do I, I have? I think it was a dab at me because I have some behind me. Well, I got like what? $20,000 worth of, worth of pops at this point. What, that's what, fucking, pardon me. That, that's, that's sad. Well, that's resale market right now, so I need to sell them. I need to that's, sell them. I doubt you'll get that much out of them, though. Well, a lot of the um, I, well, a, a lot of it went up because of the resale pricing. That's the thing. A lot of it. Um. Oh, that one. One thing I wanted to uh, wanted to talk about is the dark troopers. You guys want to you know pay attention to these? The dark troopers. You do not want to miss out on picking these up because once they sell out they're gone and the pre-orders weren't too great on these I ordered like, two of them. what's up i ordered two of them you ordered two of them yeah I'm, I'm i'm thinking i'm getting two or three i i already have two pre-ordered but i'm thinking of getting one more uh, yeah for me at this point i'm gonna wait to see when they're released and i'll make my decision so you know i mean it's, some of them some of the pictures, they do look like they're rushed. They do have parts that look like they're 3D printed. Again, I understand it's a prototype. I just want to see what they actually end up looking like before I actually determine whether I'm going to invest my money into these. I'll pass on these unless they include the diecast likes. The The only thing is the reason why I'm, I'm considering just getting two is because... People were talking about what if they come out with the diecast version of these in the future. Like, let's say in I season three, they in come out. It's all plastic. I think they did it like the uh, K2SO, and I think he's going to have diecast. Uh, you know, just like just like the IG11's got some diecast in them. I think it's going to be like that. It's it's not going to be obvious. It's not going to be marked as diecast, but there's going to be some there. And by the way, Bob Dylan, thanks for checking us out. Bob Dylan, thanks hey, thank for the five dollars. Happy to catch a stream all about the XC ba uh, Batman suit, PO, the Queen Studios, Cowboy. Yes, <laughs> I'm out of my mind. yes, you're out of your damn mind because the thing is, I, I know why you're getting that uh, Queen Studios uh, assets Catwoman. for you assets. 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 From, uh, yes. You're out of your the, damn the, mind. The one about bat pod. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, let me see what what I'm looking to. Also, yeah, I am like once they pop that XC bat suit, I am getting that. I am definitely going to get that. That's pretty much an Iron Man, but Bat, literally Batman. You know, I was really hoping that the oh, Batman the, right here. the video game Batman that was supposedly being, you know, teased from That's the rumors the only, was the, well, which one's that one? That's the only Batman anyone needs. Frank Miller's Dark Knight. Come on, man. That, that was a good one. I'm going to fix the belt, though. It's it just kind of hangs on him. This is a custom. Hey, Nate. Yo. It's time to execute Order 66. Well, it's 
Well, now it's order sixty five. Order executed order sixty six on the likes. But yeah, guys, you, uh, if you, uh, thank you for everyone. You know, just uh, being uh, here this long with the stream. I'm sorry if my energy is out like everywhere at this point because I've been awake since. <laughs> How long since I've been awake? Since seven, seven eight in the morning. And I've been doing, I've just been working on other stuff, but I just have not been able to go back to bed. And now uh, it's 8 p.m. now, so we're looking to end the stream pretty soon. But I'm, it's gonna, uh, I'm gonna be going to work in yeah, about an I hour. Mean, yeah, it's it's been, I wouldn't say it's been a hard 24 last 24 hours. It's just, um, again, Nate and I, um, and I'm gonna assume Moz is just in the same place. You know, we have jobs, we've got to work. Um, they're demanding for different reasons. Um, you know, we did a stream last night unexpectedly with Jetta. Um, and then, because normally we don't go back to back. Um, and then we come tonight. So literally, like, 40 minutes before the stream started, I got off work. And, you know, Nate, he works nights. And he's got to do the research. He does the videos during the days. So, because unfortunately, because of my work... 90% of the time I can't join him because, you know, because of my work I can't do that. Um, and it's just one of those days for a reschedule. We're just, we've been doing a lot and unfortunately we might not be expressing our enthusiasm right now in, a, in the correct setting. But believe me, we're there in every way we can be. Our bodies just might not be able to physically represent that. But well, we're I there. Guys, I'm enthusiastic for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly uh, yeah. and again we work just like you and we get tired just like you but again we we thank you for you got uh for your time for showing up for watching for commenting and and again like we said before we do this because we like what we do we want to make sure not only do you our fans and anybody else watching you like what you buy, but we want to make sure you buy what you buy because you like it. You're getting the best value for your dollar. Again, we're not tr we don't get any money whether you buy something or you don't buy. We're just organic in our opinions and we are giving you our flat honest truths about things. So, yay, Jack Daniels. Before, Coach we, Prime. before we go though, Dean Dean was asking a question. Uh, you got it. Right there. Any of you buying Taskmaster or any of the Black Widows? Um, oh, yeah. Like, we mentioned in the very beginning. And I'll probably just pull this up. Like, I might as well. So, let me see. Do I have one of the Black Widows? Let me let me do this real quick. Let me pull this up. Um, as far as Taskmaster is concerned, after watching the movie, I don't mind. I haven't seen it yet. Don't spoil it. Okay. Yeah, we, won't spoil, we won't spoil it. Um, I am not... I am not too excited with my soul with the movie, but I had fun with it. But as far as like Taxmaster is concerned, I'm not picking up Taxmaster unless we get Red Guardian. If Hot Toys drops that Red Guardian, then I will be picking up Taxmaster. Oh, how do I respond this with not spoiling anything to Moz? Um, I'll just say this. La I'm la la grabbing, la la. I'm not I'm, uh, la, yeah, la, yeah. La, la. Taskmaster is a paper tiger. I'll just say that. I'm sorry to, to hinder your responses. I apologize for being here. <laughs> but I, the one thing I am very weirded out about is my is my thoughts on which Black Widow to get. I, I'm considering getting both Black Widows, Endgame and uh, the Black Widow from the Black Widow movie. Because that head sculpt is beautiful. That's one of the best head sculpts from Hot Toys uh, with Black Widow at this you point. You and I must be looking at different head sculpts. Uh, no, no, no. Well, we must be because I, I, I like if I could buy that head sculpt separately and put that on the end game figure, it's I would. Look. But that front one looks kind of more like the comic book or something. It doesn't really look Scarlett Johansson too much. No, well, maybe. I don't know. But I, yo, know, I would, man, I would, I, I am, I, I, I'm conflicted. I like, I don't know, sure which, which uh, Black Widow to get, man. Which Black Widow to get? Um, I might get the Endgame because that's the Legacy line. 
So I might just pick up the end game version versus this one. And I, I, I and I'm not I don't feel too bothered about if 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 I miss out on this one, I don't feel too bothered about it. Uh, before we end, uh, before the show ends, what figures would you, each of you, love to see announced? It could be the outside of the three IPs they usually do. Okay, um, Moz, let's start with you. Ripley the power loader. <laughs> Ripley the power loader. <laughs> Instead of the T's, give it to me. Updated Ripley, Ripley and the power loader. Ripley the power loader. Uh, that's that the only one. Well, they said it doesn't have to be within the three, so I'm going to just jump outside that for now because there's obviously plenty of stuff I'd like to see. Oh, okay. Now, now, now I got it. Re-release you. of the Pred Alien would be nice because I can't afford the, uh, the OG. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So if I'm going to go up, I'm going to go super hardcore obscure nerd back into limited run 80s cartoons. I want to see Starcom figures. Now, Starcom was a cartoon in the 80s that was actually funded both by NASA and the National Science Foundation. So this was like a government-sponsored um, cartoon that was literally Space Force in the 80s before, you know, and we like we have a Space Force in the U.S. now. I want Space Force figures. You know, the toys in the 80s, they had magnets in their feet, You literally, and they actually made the yeah, they made the full-size spaceships. Then they had the removable cargo pods. I want that. I want, like, this star, the Starcom astronauts, you know, with the actual ability to have magnetized feet. They have the additional cargo pods. Like, you can literally attach them underneath the, car, the, the cargo pod so it looks like they're walking in space. I want Starcom. That is my biggest, deepest, nerdiest request of my life i want starcom figures i i'm a space nerd i love armor i love astronaut suits that is like the perfect amalgamation of everything for me is starcom it's your so. turn nate ah boy oh boy damn i I'm, I'm thinking because i i love everything and then it has to be outside the three ips that we have it doesn't have to be it said it can be it can be. It can be outside. Um, well, I, I just keep things simple. If I really uh, wanted a figure, I would want them to come out with a DX Darth Vader for Revenge of the Sith. I mean, the DX Darth Vader has to come with uh, the burned up Anakin Skywalker. You put it right into the Darth Vader, kind of like a freaking miniature Hulk Buster. Or, or in this case, what they did with the Mark V. The Mark they're gonna have five. The sounds like the Robocop did, and maybe just you know push the button and it goes no. <laughs> it, it, it's gonna ha- it's gonna have to have the freaking um, the damn the, the damn uh, medical bay medical table for him too. Like I would love that, and then possibly maybe episode three. Yeah, right. The chances are popping episode three. Well, Verenza Sith Palpatine. I go, I would love Avengers if Palpatine with the red robes, you know, or the black robes, when whatever robes he faced off against uh, Yoda. I would love another Avengers if Palpatine. I would love Palpatine. I would love them to come out with another Palpatine. I have to go with uh, Doc Collector here too. Also, Johnny Five. I have to throw that one in there too. Now, now, are you doing um, the first or second? Because again, can you just get one that allows you to do both, like little magnetic things for like the spikes and stuff? Or, or I guess the spray paint would be hard to do. But. Well, then let me ask, if you do that, then do you have to do a special edition gold citizen version? Yeah, I definitely don't need that in my life. <laughs> again, again, I'm just going from the movies. You know, Probably he just the first a citizen, and then, yeah. and then somebody sprayed it, paid him in 24 karat gold. So. Yeah, Ooh. The first movie then. And a RoboCop cane, I wouldn't mind one of those to go with my RoboCop figures. How, well, would, they do, how would they do a droidy car? Like with the energy shields, would it be kind of like a hologram type? They need to basically do like the Doctor Strange effects, but they need to expand it to like half spheres. Ah, uh, I Again, would love that's my opinion. Cards, man. I would get like three of those. I would so the Johnny get, like, Five needs to speak uh, pig pig Latin as well. 
if you do a, a number two, like a got to be a button where he does the uh, the pig line. Exactly. So. Um. But anyway, guys, um, the, the the stream is looking to end. But I wanted to say a few things. Uh, one, um, my brother and my nephew. If you guys are interested in doing Pokemon stuff, they are going on the stream uh, on their channel at about nine o'clock. If you like Pokemon um, boxings, they are doing that on their channel. So you guys want to check that out? Here is the link to it. If you guys want to go check them out around nine o'clock. Um, but other than that, Moz, you have anything new uh, you're doing? Uh, do you want to share with the? I mean, I got the tree here. Uh, the house isn't up here, but I've been making one six scale trees for my photography. Just a couple of them. Still working on it. This is the first time I ever made these things. So uh, I got another one that's a bit more bendy. It's in the other room though. I didn't bring it in here because it's a little too bendy. But, uh, yeah, the vines, these vines are the first versions I did. The second ones are a little better because I didn't slack on them. I, uh, not only did I cut the leaf sizes to be accurate or more accurate to one six scale, but I also shortened the vine length because these are pretty long. I'm holding it off camera like an idiot. But, uh, yeah, I had to do a lot of gluing to get that to work. But, uh, this is just some foam with some paper mache. AKA toilet paper uh, to give you this look. And uh, then I painted it. So good times. It worked out pretty well in my, my, pho my photography, I think. So I mean, I I'll be honest with you. Boys, but. Those look like they would also perfectly fit with the original um, Scout Trooper on the Sideshow bike. They look like the redwood trees. So yeah. those would also perfectly fit into that scene. Well, they're not just for Jason, but that's you know I you know for the Jason. Do you have the the Jason picture, Nate? Oh yeah, we we have seen it. I don't know if Ryan has it. Let me see. Let me see. And let me see. I could uh, get that out then. Let me see. Oh my God, my computer's computer's so slow right now. <laughs> Why is it? So it's slow? probably got an update waiting for you. No, because Shh. I got all these windows up. That's the problem. <laughs> hit me with an update last night, and I was like, "You just update, updated yesterday. What do you need another update?" No, for? you gotta update again. You gotta update it again and again and again. Yeah, Chromebook, damn you! <laughs> Give me a second. I'm about to find Moz stuff over here. I could pull up on my Instagram, but I'm not too familiar on sharing screens. So, yeah, if you could actually just send me the link. Oh, okay. Yeah, send me yeah. the link on. Those, send me the link those on. Those are um, epic. Uh, uh, on, the, on the private. If you can send me the link on the private chat, then I'll show it. To my Instagram or? Well, no, no. Just, to yeah. the, the there's a private comments here. Yeah. Yeah, just click on that. Well, that's my Instagram, but I don't know how to share the. And the for link. those who have finished the stream with us, I have finished the bottle with you. Actually, no, 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 no. I, got the, I got the pictures right here. I got the pictures. Okay, it's not me. Got... Yeah, yeah. I'll share. Oh, a big shout out. Thank you, Will C, for the uh, sh um, reference to the uh, survival page for Six Scale on Facebook. Again, thanks, Will. We appreciate it. Um, thank you. Well, that, yeah, that's that, but the actual developed picture with it. That's the wired tree, though. There's a couple of the other ones that I didn't put in there, but yeah. How about this uh, one, right here? No, go up. Other way. That's me building it, and then... Yep, there's your Grogu cup. Yeah, there's my Grogu cup I made. This should be... What are you looking at? Yo, you're on the group. Yeah, I'm on the group. Yeah, I thought you used the Instagram, but okay. Yeah, I just need to... I, I, I was just looking up all the uh, tree pictures that you had... Uh, done up here yeah if you send me the link to your instagram then i'll uh, show it uh here you go there's a link to the, the actual jason picture i was all right private chat right here okay cool let me go to this that grogu cup actually i had to cheat for him to hold it though i got fishing wire holding his hands closed around it because his arms don't quite go in enough to hold that size cup you know what, Moz? I'm just going to tell you this. 
I absolutely love that answer because fishing wire is one of those materials that will solve all your problems. Um, I'm worried about it cutting plastic, to be honest with you, but yeah. I mean, I'll be honest. I actually, you know, when I was playing hockey when I was a kid, I would repair my gear with fishing. I would sew fishing wire. You know, and I like my pa look, my hockey pants, my gloves. Fishing wire is, again, one of those materials that is one of those undiscovered, unknown super materials. Fishing wire will solve a lot of your problems if you know how to use it. So, yeah, Moz, thank you for bringing <laughs> that into the mainstream. Fishing wire is one of those undervalued materials you can sew with you can tie things up with so yeah. that's that's interesting by the way the registration for sideshow con has been closed now when is sideshow con is it, is it monday or is it friday we figure that out Did 16th they close? through the 19th i, I would think they would have the that up yeah they closed it on the 14th because of like because there's actual you get rewards points for signing up so they closed it at a specific point um, to basically, as a business, say, listen, you had this point to this point to register. Anything after this, you're not getting the points. So, but yeah. Anyway, guys. Um, no, it says 19th through the 25th. What 19th? What? Really? Yeah. It's the whole week. Next week, starting Monday, July 19th. I it was 16th or 19th. Marks the return of Sideshow Con. Sideshow's popular spin on the now, now commonplace virtual con. Blah 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 blah. I got the site pulled up right here. Three days, 15 hours, 43 minutes, and 20 seconds with a counter. Oh, really? Um, I'll just say this. I still think New York Comic Con being the first big con in the United States to go back to live action, they're going to get some play there. And just to jump in that, um, I will be going to New York Comic Con. And Nate and I have been um, just spitballing some few ideas. We potentially will be doing a meetup for, you know, Six Scale Survival, um, Geeking Out, anybody else who wants to come. Um, we might be, we're probably going to be doing a actual meetup at New York Comic Con, and we are thinking we might have to give a few prizes away. Um, <laughs> for in-person people, again, in, um, in New York at Comic Con. Um, we'll potentially give out more details. We're still working, you know, these things out. But again, I will be at New York Comic Con um, in person in October. So I'm jealous. You know, I can't afford to go. I mean, so, I, dude, I'm ju I'm just either driving or taking Amtrak. Um, again, I'm I'm still only I'm in New Hampshire, so it's only like a three hour drive. I just don't want to pay the you know the valet parking rates at some of these hotels. No, I get um, you. But yeah, so uh, again, New York Comic Con, we're going to have meetups, we're going to do some stuff, you know, we'll go out, get, you know, as a group, go to one of the bars, get drinks or whatever, but we're definitely going to try and do something, we'll do some giveaways, and again, because New York Comic Con, we'll do some nice giveaways, um, we just haven't figured it out yet, we're still working on stuff. We might have some custom t-shirts we're wearing, we're still working that out. But again, um, expect uh, some big things. Still working out. Yeah. Yeah. I need one of those too. But. That's another thing. Yeah, that's another thing, guys. Uh, Cisco Survival Guide. Um, if you guys want to talk with us uh, or message us about meeting up for New York Comic Con, uh, uh, make sure to join us, the Cisco Survival Guide, where we talk a lot about you know Cisco figures and you know talk with us so we can get things rolling for New York Comic Con because um, Don Prime def definitely wants to join up with people, uh, with the group. So, exactly, yeah. And uh, and, and again, um, when I was at um, New York Comic Con 2020, um, 2019, I did cosplay. I, ha I actually have a fully customized team suit from Avengers Endgame that is it's like a military flight suit. It is customized to my preference. I'll be completely honest. It's a great suit, but the problem is you can't use the bathroom once you're in it because it has the full backside zipper. So um, if I do cosplay or anything, it will not be in the team suit. It will be something light. It'll be something a lot less intricate than the team suit. But again, anything is could change. I could make a decision to change, and I could 
show up on uh, again Friday or Saturday in my team suit with my Iron Man costume. You could do a Fremen suit. That way, it recycles a urine. Oh my God! Um, yeah, thank thank you, Dune. Then you can because, drink uh, it. You know, you get thirsty. Yeah. No, the problem is how many people actually know what you're talking about when you say the well, Dune's that, coming out. The name. Of, I know, but. Thank you for reinforcing my status as an Uber nerd because I didn't even need any explanations once you said exactly what you did. But, um, yeah, just set up a catheter. Thanks, Doc. Um, but, yeah, we'll take care of some things. And, like I said before, we're just about having fun. And one way or another, we'll do a meetup, go to one of the bars or the restaurants, and we might give a few prizes away. So. Nice, nice. Yeah, guys. Um, let me see. At, at the moment, as far as like merch is concerned, we um, I'm looking into people that you know, you know design character versions and stuff like that for me and Don uh, for uh, geeking out and then, uh, some of the shirts we're looking to get, uh, start working going. And if uh, things don't work out, then I'm going to be keep searching, keep searching. But uh, if anybody on the stream, you know, do it anime character and so forth uh just hit me up um nate salakrip right here or just hit me up at, at six scale survival guide and uh we'll talk and let's talk about talk numbers yeah lane um i'll just say this lane um has been really cool he won um our last contest he has been speaking with me and yes i am an uber nerd i am a geek nerd, I don't hide it. I don't care to hide it. It's one of those things. Yes, I'm ex-military, but it's one of those things. I am who I am. I like what I like. If you don't like it, sorry. But I don't hide who I am. I don't hide what I like. And that's what I think not only the one six community should be about, but just anything related to sci-fi, geekdom, nerddom, whatever. Just be who you are. And if other people want to accept it, Pay no attention to them. Again, this is one of those things. You can be who you want to be. These figures represent a part of you that means something to you. So embrace it. And if other people want to talk negative about it, ignore it. Just, again, these things are, are an outreach. They're a cathartic, a positive outreach of... Images we've seen on film and camera. And if someone doesn't like it, that you're enjoying yourself, that you have fun with these, just ignore it. Again, all I want to say is, one six figures, they have the ability to bring you to a place through nostalgia, through positive memories, through positive reinforcement to good times, to good experiences, good memories. Don't let anyone ever negate that, kill that. Just just be positive, just be thankful, and just enjoy what you have. Yes, might be a little bit of the Jack talking, but, <laughs> but, but here's the thing. It also brings out honesty. Again, we're not doing this for money. We're not doing this for recognition. We do this because we love this. We love being able to interact with fans, with uh, you know our viewers, our commenters, and I'm not gonna lie, it, I'm actually overwhelmed with you know, as far as like the positive emotions I'm feeling with, you know, I have random people that watch us. They're they're contacting me on Facebook. They're asking me questions, you know, from a whole wide community all over the world, and I'm overwhelmed, and I appreciate that, and so. Thank you. Thank you for for spending your time with us. Thank you for spending any, you know, whatever. Just thank you for being with us and allowing us to present our message to you. Thank you, Don. I I do appreciate uh, that and send off for the channel and for the yes, stream because the tonight. Hey, no, well that yeah. and also the <laughs> fact that um, I'm just tired as hell right now and. It sucks because I wanted so much energy for the stream, just that I literally woke up too early. And then, you know, the the, the, the tradition of geeking out stream, we say we end it, but 20 minutes ago, but we keep <laughs> yeah. going after, 25 minutes after we said, 
hey, we're ending it. So it's pretty much, you know, the geeking out uh, tradition of trying to end it 20 minutes ago. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, but but anyway, um, let me see. Is there anything else before we go? I think I think, I think we hit up on everything. I think we're good. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, guys, I I'm sorry. I'm just tired. Um, now I gotta go to work. Darn it! <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna need all these energy drinks. I, I'm gonna stop by freaking uh, a gas station just to get an energy drink so I can like stay up all night and uh, work the work the uh, midnight oil. You can do it. I, you know, I can do it. Anyway, guys, You're right. thank you. Thank you, everyone who joined up and stayed with us. Thank you for those who uh, stayed with us through our um, sort of uh, Cara Dune rant. But, uh, yeah, that that's the thing about Cara Dune. It's just um, the, the problem with it. her. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the problem is that we can't get that figure because so much controversy. But either way, I would, I love the character. And then, you know, things, you know, sprout out of control with what happened with you know Gina Carano. Bad guy and, just uh, fade to gray. I don't know her visage. Visage who is fat gadget. Never mind, I'm getting loopy too. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, anyway exactly. guys but anyway guys, uh love to hear your thoughts down below and also, you know, comment uh about your favorite uh you know um a toy fair slash Summerfest figure, or what you're looking looking forward to seeing for Sideshow Con. I'm hoping that we get at least one more Star Wars figure. Maybe it's the Mandalorian Luke. That would be pretty awesome. That would but be awesome. That 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 will be my key one right there, is will be the Mandalorian Luke. Anyway, guys, uh, as always, we're just simple collectors trying to make our way in this Star Wars galaxy slash universe. Many we are with you, always. All right, guys. Have a good night.